No, we're supposed to be on live chat. Damn it, I clicked the wrong button. Shit. Okay. Hello, Bacon. How are you today? Hopefully things are going well. Yeah, you are here pretty early. Maybe I'm just starting late. It's probably one of the two. I don't know if you've ever seen <laughs> the show Mansers before, uh, but that's what we're going to be covering today. Things are going pog. That is good to hear. The month is slowly trickling by. <laughs> the longest month. Oh, also, we're drinking a, a pee peachy keen. We're drinking a peachy keen with a little bit of water on the side. Because uh, hopefully if dance shows up, I'll be getting that hydration in. Otherwise, I feel like today is going to be kind of... <laughs> I don't know. Mansers? Like, manly answers? Yeah! Manly questions? It's a show for the boys, it's made by the boys, and it's everything that dudes would want in a show. You know? Tits, farts, beer. Everything that you could need, really. Really like, like beer, video games, and tits. Basically. Everything outside of that really doesn't even matter, you know? Oh, this tastes so fucking good. Now, I couldn't find any full episodes, which is a real bummer. But, I found this YouTube channel that just has, like, a shit ton of mini clips, which I feel like should be more than sustainable, and might be the equivalent to, like, a, like, a couple episodes, like, per section. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> making me, making me have to approve a lot of things already. What's the meaning of life? Fucking girls, definitely, yeah. Being 100% not into pegging and tits, 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 more tits. Exactly. Also, Dance. Hello, hello, Dance. How are you today? Hopefully you are having a good Thursday, although probably not as good as Fridays, but you know. That- yes, yes, exactly! Bros, bros, and dude- dude stuff, and- And, uh, and like, essentially, I guess, what the early 2000s thought all men were into. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the only way I can really describe it would be, um, so the first one- since, you know, dude questions, we need some dude answers, would be, can you bounce a quarter off of a stripper's ass? I'm sure we've all wondered that. You know, I'm sure all of us have, have wondered, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly, Bacon. Exactly. Bro, I think my chat is, like, so small. Or maybe I'm fucking blind. I don't even know. I feel like my chat needs to be zoomed. Or maybe I'm just dense. I don't know, but I feel like my chat's small. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. That's why I have glasses, right? With my inferior vision. <laughs> okay. You know, if I was a mod on Twitch, would not... You know, if I was a mod, Twitch would not hate my profanity. Oh, I gotta sign in for this? Alright. You guys are lucky you're on my face then, because I wasn't sure. I was gonna try to not have to watch this on my YouTube account, but my YouTube recommended can just be down down the shitter. I don't mind. That's fine by me. That's absolutely all right. What's YouTube for anyways, besides exploring the deep unknown? You know what I mean? Also, 16 more days until the girl is here? Hell yeah. Damn, that's flying by. Although I guess I only show up a couple times a week. I'm sure it's moving way fucking slower for you. Sorry, this is me verifying things. I had to verify my... Alright. Oh, maybe... No. Oh my god. Oh my... Okay. Ho oh, ho! Let's switch to a different account. I have like three YouTube accounts. We'll switch to this one. I'm fucking hyped, dude. <laughs> this is a... You know what? So, my thoughts too were... This is allowed on Twitch because it was televised. Right? So I think it's fine. Yes, yes, yes. The meaning of life. Life is meaningless. You can give it meaning in order to 
Distract yourself from cosmic insignificance. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> the inevitable annihilation of your legacy as time keeps on going. Anything you did or left during your brief time on this rock is broken down into erased <laughs> entropy. Great. I love that. I love to hear that. Looking forward to it. All right. I feel like this dichotomy is a great way of my brain. It's both existential crisis and then just like if Duke Nukem was wrapped up into just like all of his basic characteristics, I think I think that's the balance. I wonder if video games fucked me up that way. I don't know. Anyway, can you bounce a quarter off a stripper's ass? I'm sure we've all wondered. Um, please just disregard this, uh, the first image. It's fine. It's whatever. Nothing weird's happening here. Because it's a swimsuit. Duh. Now it's time for a Mancer's Sex Experiment. This was on television, by the way. Like, I don't remember, like, circa, like, 2006 or something. Countless hours of experimentation. Because questions. That we can bounce a man on the moon. Right. We can bounce a robot onto Mars. Right. But now, we're going to use science to see if we mm -hmm. can achieve the ultimate bounce of all. But can you bounce a quarter can off an ass? Off a stripper's ass? Is that true? Ass. <laughs> okay. That was a really great way to introduce to you what I think today is going to be like. Jokes on you, my life meaning right now snuggles with my unofficial, soon to be official GF when she gets here. Pretty wholesome moment. Just take the life meaning problem on the other side. Doesn't matter if life has meaning. We will keep on living and then die, regardless of the answer. Exa we just gotta live our best life. I already don't like this show. <laughs> uh, you don't like misogyny? That's so weird. What? No. No, that's so strange. Well, we're gonna have some professionals now give us really, really in-depth answers, right? Okay. I, you know, I've been liking just going off a tangent. The early 2000s when software spicy was socially acceptable on t Yes. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. All right. We're ready. Okay. Tight enough? You could totally bounce a quarter off that. If an ass was- is that what he said? If an ass is tight enough? Okay. If stripper's ass is tight enough, okay. you can totally bounce a quarter off that. All right. Anything's possible. I think I could if I hit it on the right, the right angle. Everybody's heard the So, my first thoughts on this, right? One, why wouldn't you be able to bounce a quarter off an ass? Like, am I not understanding exactly? But if I chucked anything, wouldn't it, like, theoretically bounce off an ass? I know it's shocking that I don't like stereotyping of men and sexualism. <laughs> Bacon. <laughs> Dude, though, I know, right? It's like, how could I? I know. I know. I don't necessarily like it, but the early 2000s sexualized everyone regardless. Yes, the early 2000s was a fucking riot. I, I seen this one show that Hassan was doing that I might do in a couple months or something, and it's like a reality TV show. What is it? It's like. It's a reality TV show, you get like 20 dudes or something, but the trick is, some of them are gay. But you don't know which ones of them are gay. So she goes in there, she doesn't know that either, that's like the big fucking elephant in the room, is some of the guys here are gay. And basically, if she ends up with a straight dude, then they split a million dollars. But if she picks a gay guy, then he just gets to keep the million for himself. And so all these dudes in, like, 2004 are trying to figure out who the gay guys are. And then they have to tell if they're gay or not on national television. I remember this TV show. It was horrific. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, essentially, it's like, it just brings up questions like, is is having a hair dryer gay? Like, if you use hair gel, fellas, is hair gel gay? Like, that's essentially what it is. It's like, I don't know. He knows a little bit about art. <laughs> like, 
I don't remember this show mainly because I didn't watch it. I wouldn't recommend it. Interestingly, I grew up on reality TV, but I never grew up on like this reality TV. Anyway, let's go back to this. Cuz I'm I'm so curious, you know. One of the gay guys apparently gave good luck to some straight dudes and then blackmailed them in order to Hey, in it for the money, bro. You gotta be in it for the money. But can you really do it? Right, can you? That's the question. What? Women in bikinis, good thing. Good thing Twitch likes them hot tub streams. You know what I'm saying? We're just getting ready. It's just for a pool party. Yes, hair gel gay. As a bi-man, I came from caring about how you look is gay, right? That's a thing also. In the early 2000s, being bi just didn't exist, I guess. That, like, I guess that's just, just, they didn't exist, dude. No bi awareness at all. So how do you turn that booty into a bounce house? You Clear lift the weights. The coefficient of restitution is a measure of... God, if I could be a physicist and I just have to figure out the logistics of, like, fucking ass physics and tit physics... There could be worse things in life. <laughs> I need to stop. Okay. Of how fast two objects will move apart compared to how quickly they came together. He's talking about bouncing. The larger wow, the boobs. of restitution, the bigger the bounce. A bouncy object. I feel like boobs are cool on everybody. Just one. You know what? I'm just gonna say that. I'm just gonna say that out loud. Tits are cool on everybody. Titses and asses. Those is that's cool on everybody. Guy with tits. Cool. Guy with a good ass? Cool. Girls with a good ass? Cool. Girls with good tits? Cool. Also, all tits are good tits. Might be controversial, but all tits are good tits. Facts. Basic hygiene is what it does. Yeah, exactly. That's so fucking awful. Like, people used to think that my dad was gay because he cleaned his house a lot. Um, and my dad has four children. Um, and people still thought that. Because he showered a lot and cleaned his house. Like. Bro? Generally harder. We'll briefly right. store the energy right. and then return it. Whereas oh. a softer object will dissipate the energy. Oh, so you need a hard ass. Oh. If she has a really hard ass. No, these aren't good. No. We need a bodybuilder. Can I say something maybe- I don't know if that was like a juicy ass. I would say that's an average ass. I feel like they also all look the same. The reason for bi in the 2000s are the same as today, but it was way worse because the gays are making them- You know, if I'm gonna read it, I'm gonna have everything on my face. Making themselves known and shaking things up. The gays and the straights were uncomfortable with bi poop because they could basically hide in and out of the closet, escaping detection and prejudice more effectively. Yeah, exactly. Or it's like you're bi, but then at the moment you're engaging in a heterosexual relationship. So they're just like, oh, you turn straight. Oh, and it's like, no, no, that's not. Hello? I've been told by straight men my ass is very doable. They even said it if they weren't. They Okay, you know. This is why. I'm the super bi. Because how can you be like, yeah, that's a nice ass, would clap, but, but, it's like, I think it's more, I think it's more straight to be like, bro, you got a nice ass. Period. Not, hey, bro, you have a good ass, but also I wasn't thinking about having sex with you, okay? Just to let you know, I wasn't thinking about that to clarify, okay? It's like, you thought about it too much. Just give the compliment and move on, my guy. Also, Iron Hand. Hello, hello. How's it going? Yeah, exactly. I've never once been like, but clarification, I would not sleep with you, okay? I did not fantasize what I would do to them cheeks. 
It's like, just, just, you can tell a homie he has a nice ass. It's fine. You know, like, like my dad can be like, yeah, Val Kilmer is a good looking ass dude. He's not like, but also I've never fantasized about sucking him off ever. Okay. Never. <laughs> it's like, just relax, relax. It's fine. I cannot turn straight. We're werewolves, human form. Still a werewolf, wolf form. Exactly, right, exactly, exactly. Uh, okay. We haven't even answered, can you bounce a quarter off an ass? But that is the true question. He'll throw it at the same speed. Okay. Alright. Different asses, distance, okay. Alright. Then we'll measure the distance the quarter ricochets. Okay. The coefficient of restitution. Uh <laughs> oh no! Should I approve? I don't know if I should approve hard cock as, uh, in my uh, auto mod. Bro, you have a fat ass. You have a you have nice abs and a sexy face. But just know, I wasn't thinking about your rock hard cock or tight ass. Exactly, exactly. Just know that I wasn't I wasn't specifically fantasizing about that at all. Okay, disclaimer. Stuff is sapphire. Her round caboose has plenty of cushion for the pushing. Okay. Juicy 36 inches. Now here's the wind up and the I don't know. She just kind of seems a little... No way, dude! Let's go to the instant replay. Okay, well, he threw that like a little biatch, all right? If you're gonna try to bounce a quarter off an ass, you can't fucking toss it. Come on. Fucking, fucking whip that thing. Come on. Come on. You want to see a nice ass? Dominic's <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like that's going to... We're going to blur a lot. <laughs> that's going to have to be an after hours Google search. Spoiler word. They were. <laughs> right. Uh, dude, throw it better. Better. You're going to throw a quarter. You have to throw it better. So her coefficient of restitution is zero. Time to move on to Savannah. Her athletic posterior measures 34 inches. What is your idea of athletic? I'm just, I just want to know. What's your idea of athletic? She doesn't look like she runs a lot. Where are them fucking hammies, bro? Does that, does she deadlift? I want to see them fucking glutes. I stumbled into here. We're going over Mansers, the TV show that's like for men by men. And uh I'm here for it. I'm enjoying it. It's fun. It's fine. It's fucking hilarious. Do you like how they're all wearing safety goggles too? Like the fucking like like the cord is gonna ricochet so fucking violently off her rock hard ass that it's gonna, it's gonna hit someone in the eye. Uh <laughs> are you sure about that oh i one time wore tight jeans and oversized so you see how many people would like cat call me thinking i'm alien it and god i feel bad for the female gender now it don't matter what you wear it absolutely does not matter what you wear oh, man. he's Have throwing it so bad fashion. watch again the quarter <laughs> what the fuck? No, it didn't. It didn't ricochet. This is Photoshop. You're lying. Watch. Watch again. That's fake. The quarter rebounds one eighth of an inch. That gives her a coefficient of. No, it didn't. No, show me it again. Show me it again. Show me. That did the same thing as the last ass. Don't even lie to me. Walking down the sidewalk, someone grabbed my ass. Grab your- dude, throw hands. Dude, for real? For real, though? This is Knight's excuse to look at stripper ass. Are they even strippers? I feel like they're just girls that are trying to become actresses in Hollywood. And, like, their first gig was to do this. You know what I'm saying? I don't, like, I, I mean, they very well could be strippers. That's fine. But I feel like if anything, it tends, like, these shows tend to prey on people who want to be, like, aspiring actresses or something. You know what I mean? Like, why else would they be looking at, like, calls? 
Also, it didn't bounce. Her ass jiggled. Did not bounce. 10 out of 10, you lied to me. Lied. That's fake. The quarter rebounds. One Me when I'm like, why the fuck would they Photoshop the that? That gives her a coefficient of restitution. Those are can't afford five. true strippers. For That's real really though. They're, like I feel like to buy a girl for a day, you'd gotta have to have a couple grand. Are you kidding me? They're making some fucking good ass bank. Especially this being in like LA. They have been making some good money. A whole day, bro. Just fell off. So let's move on to Jasmine. Okay. She's got a firm body and a pole dancer's booty measuring 33 inches. Talk about lean and mean. But is it lean enough? Only one way to find out. If she's a pole dancer, I'd probably give her the most props. It's because he's throwing it harder. That corner would have bounced off anybody's ass. <laughs> Why did he describe it like that? Wow. Her fucking firm pole dancer booty? <laughs> Why? Uh, I'm sorry, go on. Uh, all these asses, I don't know what I'm looking at. These aren't. Dude, you should have tried it off a fucking bodybuilder's ass. Have some dude that fucking, like, lifts heavy doing them fucking RDLs? That's an ass. That would be an ass to bounce a quarter off of. That's all I'm saying. In LA in 24 hours, she can make more than the geeks in six months. Dude, honestly. Can you bounce a quarter off a stripper's ass? Yes. If it has a coefficient of restitution of at least 0.08, that booty will burn. If it has a in boob we trust what the fuck <laughs> uh, that was so funny uh that was fun that was nice what'd you guys think did you like that video oh my god i'm trying to get back to the fucking playlist sheesh oh oh sweet all right so <laughs> uh Looks like the quarter is a girl. Yeah. Probably one of their sisters and her friends. Don't think you'd want that on your resume. Yeah. Yeah. This one is, how big does someone have to be to plug up a blown out airplane window? I wonder how many tits we're going to see. Just curious. All right. So yeah. How big does someone have to be? Is this going to be fat, Shamey? It's the 2000s, right? The greatest trip ever. Okay. You just got upgraded to first class. All right. Sat you Tits. What women? What women exist, dude? This is the best day of my life. <laughs> Sorry. For real, this question didn't need an answer. You get yourself thrown out of the club if you throw quarters around. Can you imagine? You bring fucking change. Pfft. Bro, women aren't a man, no dude. This trip is gonna suck, or is it? <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> oh, it's so stupid. Oh no! How fat of an ass does she need to have to plug the window for safety? Oh shit, she's gone. Oh well. Someone have to be to plug up a blown out airplane Right, window. that's the question. People actually get sucked out of planes? Yes. Yes. To the Sydney Morning Herald, a British pilot was sucked out of a window on a flight to Spain. Brain for last. Yes. Let's go. The plane landed. So how I really thought her dumpy would have saved them. I really was trying to give them benefit of the doubt. The standard size of a Boeing 737 window is 14 and a half inches tall. 10 and a half inches wide and 18 inches on diagonal. Hmm. The of an airplane is pressurized because at 30,000 feet, which is cruising altitude, the outside air lacks oxygen and pressure. Oh, you know, the women really helped explain it so much better. I was like, what's happening? Which is huh? Where am I even supposed to? Oh, tits. Where do I look? Huh? Oh, pressure. words. Words. That's right. Okay. Oh. All the air out of the window at 
Okay, you totally caught my attention now. Because she's a skinny ass model, that's why. She's too small. A measly 14 inches. Gosh, they're so tiny. How are you gonna use her corpse as a way to plug the window and save everyone? But she needs 18 inches to shoulder this response. <laughs> Bro, tits and a fat ass, <laughs> dude. That's why her heroine chief physique gets sucked silly. Too petite didn't save anyone, not worth it. Damn, everyone's fucked. To save your ass. From to save your ass, blast, you need a big ass. You're gonna need every passenger's worst nightmare. A fat guy. I'm so sorry. <laughs> what? Oh, why did I have a feeling it was gonna go that way? Oh no. Oh no, am I the problem? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Oh no. Why did that happen? Uh. <laughs> okay. All right, they can go back to it now. Fuck this shit, dude. And you know there was a bunch of people that thought, like, hold on, you wanna, let's look at, when did this get released? When did Mansers get canceled? Come to Michigan? Oh no. I mean, I have no reason why, okay. This is too late. Oh, thank you for the disclaimer. All right. Mansers, a portmanteau of man plus ant. Wow. So about 2007. So, eh, 10. Eh, not long enough ago, I would say. Not long enough ago. Quite frankly. All right. <sighs> so how big does Jumbo have to be to go from stuff in his sea? How'd you type that message? So stop. Uh, I, I fucking clicked my clip button too much. Me and my robots. I'm working on more. I'll be real big brain. decompression occurring. You're best suited to be sitting next to a 300 pound person for your survival. That's right. Dead ass. Greg, hello, hello, lad. Is that a real number? It sounds fake. It's like one of those things where you call and then it has some fucking like, like hearty hard number. But also, how's it going? Like, <laughs> I want it. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I had a feeling it was gonna be a little shamey, but whatever. Let's fucking go back at it. The event of a window cracking and explosive decompression occurring. You're yeah. Best suited to be sitting next to a 300 pound person for your survival. That's right. According to Big Boy Save the World, dude. It's me, bruh. Honest, bro. <laughs> the Centers for Disease Control. A man weighing 300 pounds has a surface area. You really think he's 300 pounds? He doesn't seem like he would be. Also, He's not even- come on, dude. I thought you were gonna be- dude, they make- they make people buy now fucking, like, what? What's the limit now before you have to buy two airplane tickets? I don't even remember. How big does someone have to be to plug up a blown out airplane window? You want to be sitting next to a 300 pound person. Hello, you want to be sitting next to that big boy because he's gonna save your life. Ew. I don't want to look at all that unusual meme bullshit. Give me to my Mansers. Come on. Yeah, Mansers. Hell yeah. Alright. 
What's another one? Can you beat a breathalyzer? Yeah, that sounds good. Because men, beer, you know. The works. I think the organs of that man would literally be sucked out of his ass. I mean, yeah, totally. Definitely. Like. Again, it's like, if you're gonna answer the questions, shouldn't they at least be correct? How many tits are we gonna see again? I don't know. Wants to get busted for a DUI. You can't fake your way through the field sobriety test. But what about Wow, it's so cool that he didn't automatically get pulled out of his car. Is it true? Can you beat a breathalyzer? No. Doubt it, no. You can beat a breathalyzer by having protein in your glove compartment. Peanuts, cashews, nuts, almonds. Okay, I guess. Alright. Yeah, I love beer. I definitely don't hate it for what my family did to me while drunk. Bacon? That sounds like we're on the verge of a confession. You can utilize your breath with, you know, celery. You know. Mustard packets in your car and drink hot sauce right before you take. Dude, oh my fucking god. Actually, I don't know if you guys noticed. I have a fucking problem with people fucking sending me whispers and DMs on Twitch to the point where I'm pretty sure... I'm gonna have to just close my fucking whispers. And I even had to write a thing, like, like fucking lower in, like, my panels. I keep getting fucking DMs about people trying to solicit fucking nudes, dude. I am so annoyed by scammers on the internet, and especially, like, fake-ass dudes that pretend they're, like, sugar daddies or whatever to get nudes from girls, it's so fucking annoying. I don't like it. And sometimes I'll talk with them just because I find it funny, and it always ends to the same thing, right? Like, if you are going out of your way to waste people's time and then offer fake money just to, like, get people's interaction, it drives me insane. Why do they want your nudes? No offense, but there's free spicy on the internet. I fucking told the guy, I was like, you ever heard of, like, a girlfriend experience before? Like, where, like, girls, like, sell them. Like, just go on OnlyFans. It's just called, like, a GFE. Like, literally, that's it. You can just pay money and, like, they'll pretend to, like, date you for a week. People have it all the time. I don't... I don't understand i guess also like if you really want to be fucking legit maybe send the money first and then i'll be like eh, okay if this person's legit like fucking whatever dude but they're always like actually i've been i've been scammed so many times before that uh we're gonna have to fucking interact first and then I'll pay you. And it's like, yeah, you're totally gonna pay a girl on the internet like a grand a fucking week to send you fucking little titty pics. Like, okay, sure. They're splendid, is they want the sugar without spending a dime. Dude, that's, that's like, I just, I find it funny. And then they get offended when you're like, no. And it's like, you're the fucking person sliding into a bunch of people's DMs randomly trying to get fucking nudes. Do you not know how Google works? Hello? Well, that's what I'm saying. If some guy was like, hey, I will literally PayPal you a hundred bucks and in return can I get a feet pick? Mm, disclaimer Twitch, I wouldn't do this, but let's say in a hypothetical situation, because I wouldn't, I wouldn't not do this. Cause I don't think you're allowed to solicit shit like that on Twitch, so let's say, like, no. But, like, hypothetically speaking, I was fucking contacted off of, like, Discord or whatever, right? Don't you think that you would just give the money first or be like, hey, is this cool? Because it's like a service, right? It's like buying a car, let's say. It's like... Dude, I know, right, Dance? I know, it's like you're not fucking throwing that money. Like, you're not throwing the money around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, I just, I find it annoying, because then I'm also, like, there's probably a lot of people that fall for this, and it's, like, way to have fucking grimy-ass dudes preying on girls who are desperate or don't know. You know another thing, too? Maybe before you start soliciting nudes, maybe get a confirmation of, like, their age, 
like just a thought i don't know it's crazy anyway yeah so i put it in my thing because i'm like can people not fucking dm me i'm tired of getting the dms it's it's like are you like i don't like i guess thanks for saying that i'm hot or whatever but i don't think my fucking content has anything to do with that even if it is it's like i don't know fucking hang around i guess i don't know It's just annoying. Send me nudes. By this, I mean noodles. Give me your fucking ramen recipe. <laughs> Actually, I make some bomb-ass ramen, not gonna lie. You want a sugar baby? Just pay her student loans and give her 3k a month. Great way to establish a long-term relationship. It's just... I just... My thing... I need a raise. <laughs> <laughs> like i'm not gonna lie like like i'm not gonna lie like i mean sure like i've i fucking like messed around with like that like scope of things because you know i'm an internet dj but like time and place my guy i don't know also like there's you have to kind of prove your legitimacy if you can't even fucking stick around for a stream and fucking chat why the fuck would you stick around to give somebody a shit ton of money every week? Like... Where's my noodle pics? Oh, you gotta- Dude, I'm so sorry. I don't know what to tell you about the ads, if I'm gonna be honest. I don't know if I'm allowed to tell you how to skip them, but I'm pretty sure there's ways if you want to bypass that. But like, it's just- a, I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm saying it's just annoying. I'm pretty- uh, dude, the last few times I was like, I'll let you know if I open an OnlyFans. Like, I don't know what else to tell you. You can do a fucking transaction through there- that then. If I ever fucking open my services. But like- Also like, dude, there's plenty of fucking hotties in the fucking just chat- and like other chatting sections that literally have OF accounts. There's plenty of hot women on the internet. I would even argue there's plenty of fucking women that probably look just like me that should very well be able to, like, I don't, like, fucking, like, just Google, like, fucking white, blonde, like, curly-haired female. Like, I don't fucking know. You gotta pay for that. It's like there's tons of websites. Anyway, that's my tangent. I had to add a thing in my fucking bio, so maybe that won't happen again. But part of me feels like maybe that'll just make people want to do it more. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, guess what? Like, I just, like, I don't know. I just kind of want to send up a PP pick or something. Maybe they'd like that. I, I don't know. One of my work partners in college had a sugar daddy. He paid for all of her expenses and gave her luxury gifts. But only give cash for sugar oh interesting interesting hmm. <sighs> i don't know something okay i don't know if i feel like i should totally dive into my am i allowed to dive into my exploits on the internet to be transparent like I have sold feet pics before because it's easy money and it doesn't have my face in it. So, like, whatever, because I have other aliases. And it's fine. But, like, my Queen Knight alias is literally connected to me in real life. So why would I do that? Like, what a great way to open somebody being able to, like, fucking blackmail me, dude. If I was going to start sending, like, fucking selling my nudes, then I'm just gonna have a fucking service for it, you know? But, like... Like, I'm pretty sure I was literally paid once, like, like 300 bucks to hang out with a dude for a couple hours, and then that was it. I don't do that anymore. I was like 18 or 19, I think, when I kind of messed with it. But like, 
send a pee pee pic and then I ended up sending a Pepsi man video. Yes, yes, bacon. He's pretty much giving her a taste of the good life and basically gave her motivation to F him for money. I mean, here's, here's, so, I mean, let's just go on to that tangent again. I don't understand the whole concept of, especially now, like, like, dick appointments or like friends with benefits and just like sleeping with somebody just to sleep with them it's like if i'm gonna sleep with somebody just to sleep with somebody i feel like at that point you should just be getting paid for it you know what i mean is that is that fucked up like when i hear chicks in like relations where they're like we don't like like i want something more and it doesn't happen or it's like i'm single and i just screw a bunch of like dudes at a bar it's like Bro. Bro. You can make that a fucking business, dude. She was pretty relaxed and stress-free for a college student. Dude, yeah, I'm like... And at that point, it's like... I'm, maybe, I don't know. I Maybe I'm a shitty person. I don't know if that makes me a shitty person. But I'm just saying, it's like, why would you waste your, like, time and stuff with people that kind of treat you shitty? Or, like, I don't know. I just don't get it. I just don't get it anymore. It's like, you're at the, like, I don't know. If you don't want something, like, legit, and if you're gonna be sleeping around anyway, makes sense to me. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I've I've said too much. I've <laughs> I've said too much. But yeah, yeah, no. I'm totally like, you know what? Fucking do it. Go for it. Ugh. If you gotta sex anyone charge like I'm just saying it's like in the like I don't know, especially if you're like That's what I'm saying. It should not be fucking criminalized. Give them fucking health insurance and just have a couple, like, I don't know, get a fucking license for it and make sure they get tested regularly so, like, nothing gets spread. Like, whatever. Go for it. Anyway, yeah, that shit happens all the time. I don't know why it keeps happening. But I keep getting messages. And it's, like, always, it's always the same thing, too. Hey, can I ask you something? Can I ask you something? It's like, am I your fucking mom? I don't have to give you permission to ask me a question. You're already fucking DMing me. Guys have been thinking up ways to beat the breathalyzer since it was invented in 1954. Can you give me a breath into this for me? I have a really good idea, guys. To beat the breathalyzer, do you know what you do? Do you know what you do? Okay. I got it for you, all right? Don't drink and drive. That's it. Just, uh, just a don't drink and drive. I know that's crazy. Call me crazy, but, uh, <laughs> start documenting them, make a montage video. <laughs> uh, I should charge for my, do you honestly, you should dance. Do it. Honestly. Dude, start to, yeah i should i should i mean i like i report it or whatever i find it real weird when people are automatically like i want sexting and i want pictures and i want you to respond to me super quickly and it's like dude what if i was like 17 <laughs> also fuck you i'm gonna drink my 200 proof vodka <laughs> no it's, it's like, just don't. Get an Uber. Please. Huh. One dude in Canada even tried eating his own crap to throw the test off. It didn't work. Can you imagine being the guy that eats his own shit because he'd rather drink and drive? But at least his breath kept the other prisoners away. Any moron knows that you don't eat crap, but does anything else work? Who said that? Who said, eat your own shit? There's no- you, He had to have been fucking with you and you were too drunk to realize it. I promise. Why not drink 200 proof vodka while striving? 
Because it's bad for everybody, Bacon. It's bad for everyone. Oh my gosh, why does my phone keep going Ugh. off? Excuse me. Sheesh. I need this to stop. Okay. On. Stop dinging. Thank you. Everybody. All of it. I'm just, don't. Hey. hey. All right. Can you beat a breathalyzer? I don't really like alcohol. We wanted to find out. We recruited Wow. Well, men. Music. Drink Aggressive. Drinking. Tough job. While he's pounding the brewskis. The shotgun's a Budweiser. I'm disappointed he should have shotgunned a Budweiser. Not like I'll get in a crash because I can't tell what the fuck is happening. <laughs> yeah, wow, men music. You'll drive drunk or so dumb. I can understand inebriated, vulnerable people making poor decisions, but I would rather risk getting robbed than to go 20 for life for manslaughter. Second, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> percent of Americans will be involved in an alcohol related traffic collision in his or her dude I like never drink I don't get it 1.4 million Americans are like live your life I, I think it just depends on the person every 137 license holy fuck you guys come on ready. so officer Joe Zizi of the California Highway Patrol tests his blood alcohol level 0 0.09 0 0.08 too much is legal limit in the state of California yep. you're already over the limit to drive a motor vehicle right if he had been caught while driving he'd be screwed the minimum fine one time my stepdad blew a 0.081 so sad imagine someone's so drunk they get 20 20 for life for something they wouldn't be able to that's exactly what i'm saying also i definitely didn't send you a whisper oh no bacon right now in california for driving under uh, the is approximately twelve thousand dollars twelve grand holy crap yeah holy f <laughs> holy crap what money can that breathalyzer be beaten a lot of guys think that copper pennies can fool it so we gave this guy some pennies to suck Let's A penny? Ew. Ew, y'all fucking sucking on pennies? Dude, just fucking relax. Don't worry, it's not anything soliciting nudes. I mean, at this point, I would take it as a joke. Nope, that just gives you a second medical bill. Oh my god. Yeah, we does. Okay, after five minutes of sucking on pennies, let's see if he can drive home. Crap, he's still yeah, no shit sucking on dude. How much fucking bacteria did you inject sucking on pennies? Imagine if he accidentally swallowed them that would come out we'll rough so sucking on pennies won't No shit, what Besides, who said that? Damn it Uh that would be kind of funny. 12k instead of jail risking getting graped by booty warriors or shanked by gang- Right. That's what I'm saying, and it's like one out of 137 people? Like, dude. Bad- you gonna suck on a battery? You're gonna be sucking on something else if you keep fucking doing this. After five minutes of macking on a battery, this guy's blood alcohol content keeps going and going. He's still legally drunk. Test three, go. 50% of the people that I've stopped for a suspected DUI have wanted to chew gum. While he's working that gum, get this. Really? Some guys keep mouthwash in their glove compartment, thinking minty fresh breath will screw up the breathalyzer. But some brands contain 27%. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, because some alcoholics will fucking just buy bottles of mouthwash and drink it. Down by if right, just literally because time. Somehow they're just nerdier and stupider. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Gosh. Alcohol, and that Not worth it. Always make sure you have a DD. Okay. So, will a few sticks of gum wipe out the booze breath? No. Zero nine. No. Zero. No luck. 
What the fuck? His blood alcohol content still hasn't changed. Yeah, because, because it's a breath test measures the air in his lungs, not his mouth. And the air in his lungs is constantly absorbing alcohol from his blood. That's why cops test it in the <sighs> What else? Final what score, else you got? Three, drunk dude, zero. Right, don't like drink and pennies, drive. Man. You know those pennies really worked out well. So, can you beat a breathalyzer? There is no way to outsmart a breathalyzer. No. Sure. Sorry, dude. Save that spare change. If you get caught driving drunk, you'll need every penny you got. I feel like your best bet would just be waiting an hour and eating a shit ton of like bread or something. For fail. I really don't understand why people. Is it hard? Is it really that hard? Okay. I don't even- okay, there's so many of these, I don't know- do you want to do the next one of do big boobs float? That's deadass the next question. Like, that's dead. <laughs> that's it! Man, such a sad story. So sad I cried. Whatever will happen. Like, let's do it. Whatever. It's only a minute. More mansers. Whoa. Awesome. I guess. They they How much do you think it costs them to get these girls? You know? The then again, I guess if I, I was gonna spend like what eight grand to get some fake tits, I guess I might as well make money off of it. We wanna know Pay for themselves, I suppose. Reasons. Kinda cool. Do big boobs float? Big boobs come in two main varieties. Unethical life advice. If you cr if you crash drunk driving, just grab the nearest bottle and drink with an eyesight of the cups. They will have trouble proving you were drunk driving and you can claim that you instinctively drank because you were shaking up. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, dance. Breathe in some sulfur hexafluoride. Then take the breath away. I need something that one absorbs the alcohol out of your lungs, but can also be here to not kill you. Oh, so sad, I can't drink my 500 Ink the proof just keeps going higher into a fucking T-bone collision with a family van full of- Oh no. Fridays, man-made and au natural. We're gonna okay. have to test them both. This pool is our laboratory. Now meet our sexy test subjects. Our first volunteer is Linda. Fake. Next, measuring up at 32, 26, Real. 34 is Catherine. Linda's up first. Let's see if those puppies know how to paddle. Okay. I don't think tits float. Linda reaches the deep end. Wait, stopped. I'm confused. Hold on. I feel like fake tits wouldn't float, but maybe real tits would float because isn't doesn't fat float? Yeah, I feel like fat floats. I might be so wrong, dude. I feel like I should know this. Hmm. Whilst going <laughs> 120 on a 65. Oh god. That's my that's my way in. I'm gonna say real tits float, fake tits don't float. Paddling, and she sinks. No sailing then again, I've always floated, so I have no idea. Check the text, it's urgent. Okay, hold on. All right. Bruh, hold on. Hold on. Should I do a. Is he huge or something? How about he seems kind of expensive. 33, kind of expensive. But also impressed to find a Todd Squish. Well, I don't know. We already have him. I'm gonna say I'm just just watching Tit. You know what? That's recommended, Bacon. That I get that. Just bleed yourself and empty your veins. Can't check alcohol in the bloodstream if you don't have blood. Duh! If you just oof yourself, you're fine. Just clear out all that blood anyway. <sighs> and purple donkey? Hmm. Hard to decide. Hard to decide. I don't know. I feel like I feel like the Todd one seems kind of kind of expensive. And I feel like the donkey for 32 is kind of pricey too, especially because it only looks like it's like a 12 inch. Yeah, real real titties. Signs. They gotta float. They float. Catherine they gotta float. To the deep end of the pool. She stops paddling. 
Is she going to float? Yes! I she float. Is. Catherine's boobs are actually keeping her afloat. That's not how that works. <laughs> That's not how that works. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, the tits don't keep your whole body. Okay, you know what? Uh. <sighs> Bro, yeah, 12 inch, dude. 12 inch, or also gaff. Hello, hello. Why do you probably be called photo? I realize you said gaff means house. Maybe I'll just call you photo. Whichever. Okay, I just, I just wanted to say, I just wanted to say, like, I, <laughs> that's not how it works. I'm so upset right now. I'm so upset. Hold on. Bro, I still float, though. I've always floated, so. Gaff is good? Okay, I'll just stick with gaff then. I realize I always jump back and forth. Oh, okay. Okay, perfect then. I will do- I'll do gaff. I- I- I realize I always flip it. <laughs> Bro. And they float her fucking titties, dude. Keep her floating. It's just because fat floats. Loser! You're a loser! Are you feeling sorry for yourself? Well, you shouldn't be because you are dirt! You make me sick! I do not float and I am chunk. What? Really? I'm pretty sure when I, when, I, when I weighed a lot more, I floated great. And then I lost like 80, 90 pounds or something. And I still float. Like, I float so fucking bad, dude. I float so bad. Like, I can't swim down at all. I need, like, a ladder to hold onto to go fucking low. Can't I can't go down. I'm the kind of person where I'll just float, and then I can just click, kick my legs, and I just zoom around on the surface of the pool. Why can't my dumpy float? <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh, uh, am I weird? Am I wrong? Are you guys sure? Does fat float? It has to. Does fat float? No, it does. Fat has a specific a, sp a Pacific. Fat has a specific gravity of less than 1.0 and floats in water. While both bone and muscle have a specific gravity of slightly more than 1.0. I was gonna say, like, I don't know if I can float as good as I used to, but I can still float. Are girl bones dense? Density different tissues usually float. However, F tissues float. However, breasts float or sink depending on the relative size, weight, and buoyancy of the goods. Well, I float. I'll, I float. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't know, man. The breasts are real, they will float because right. breasts are made of about 90% fat. Right. So fat floats and the breasts will actually float. That makes Damn, sense. Catherine's natural knockers act like a pair of life racks. Even she doesn't float good at all. What the fuck are you saying? Surface area is, is the equation too. We all float down here. <laughs> uh, no, I my whole fucking body floats. All of me floats. I'm so confused now. So real boobs float and fakey sink. Yeah. We asked the doctor why. Because fat. If a woman's breasts are made out of saline or silicone, then they, they sink. They won't float because most of the time oh. the silicone is more dense than the So if I oh, so if I want to be able to sink in the water, oh makes so much sense now. It's like pee pee, depending on if they're like fully immersed, if they are hard stuff, they may float. What? What? Really? What? I figured it wouldn't have- Hold on. So, like, I feel like if it was flaçade, it would float. And then I'm assuming if it was hard, it would just remain the same? Wait, now I need more explanation to that dance. You need to explain me- you need to explain that to me a little more. The only good part about the show is booba, also how ironic it is. I'm glad we're in water, though, you know, because, like, Making sure, like, everything's cool with Twitch is important. And I think at this point we should all- Should we even be in just chatting? I feel like at this fucking point I should be in the fucking hot tub category. Ugh. Water that they're in. 
science never lies. Right. Science doesn't lie. Yeah. Yes. If they're real. If they're real. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. I'm so glad. All right. We got. How can a guy escape from an ass crushing garbage truck? I've never wondered that. Let me for Danson's a variety of a <laughs> series of better <bathroom> pee pee pee. <laughs> it's for science. Let's figure out if Big Booty floats. I think Big Booty would float. I think it would float. If it's a big enough ass, I feel like it should definitely float. Too much, and his douchebag buddies thought it would be funny to let okay. Him okay. Yeah, and then you die. It's garbage day. Are these the things that that straight men worry about? Like, what if my drunk ass sleeping in the dumpster gets me killed? How am I gonna get out of the garbage truck? Like, what are these questions? I've never thought about this in my entire life. Oh, <laughs> Pogger's face, yeah. My ass doesn't float. Well, I don't know, Bacon. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe you got a muscly ass. I'm not sure. Maybe you have a big ass, but maybe it's a hard ass. Maybe it's not like a fatty ass. I don't know. How can a guy escape from an ass I don't know. I'd have to be there to see it, so I don't know what to tell you. Usually for until it's fully submerged, then depending on the density, the software or the hardware may rise. Oh. Interesting. You know, it's so interesting, the things that I've never thought about. Just never thought about that. Huh. Weird. I feel like it's really annoying to have external genitals. I think that's my statement. Sounds really annoying. Okay, it is hard. It's firm. See, then your ass is too muscly. That's the problem, Bacon. I don't know what to tell you. Good for thrusting, not for floating. Truck. Does it ever happen? Hell yes! A dude in Auburn, Indiana, dude, yeah, I get stuck in the garbage all the time. Garbage truck and live. But how? A standard front-loading garbage truck. It's 25 tons of death on wheels. The trash is collected in a 10-foot tall hopper, then pulled okay. by a razor sharp right. packer blade, capable of exerting pressure up to 2,000 pounds per square inch. It's sharp enough to cut a guy in half from suck hole to butthole. So how the hell does a dude escape? From suck hole to butthole? Like Hollywood stuntman Bob Anderson is going to risk life and limb to show us. You have about seven seconds to escape the garbage truck. Otherwise, you're going to be crushed to death. Oh, my God. We're not taking any chances. We've got Greg at the controls. He's been on the job for 20 years. Good job, Greg. Uh-oh, break time. Ass, tits, so what? This incredibly hot, chick hot lady. She's been on the job for 20 seconds. Now, Bob's actually going to attempt okay. the flying feet. Warning: What you're about to see is performed by a professional stuntman and is extremely dangerous. Don't. I thought you just said Amber was gonna be doing it. Try this yourself. Bob moves into position. Amber starts the loading mechanism. He's going to ride the dumpster and get tossed into the truck. And in he goes. Yeah. Now Bob's only got seven seconds to get out alive. That's stupid. Obviously he's fine. It was in fucking slow mo. We're going to do it again and see step by step how he escaped the bone crushing force of this monster machine. When you fall inside that garbage. Okay, so when you fall inside in the garbage. First thing you need to do, you climb on top. Yourself, get your body on top of the trash. And then you jump on top of the crusher. Favorite position. <laughs> His favorite position's a missionary. Get your body on top of the trash. Being on top is Bob's favorite position. Wow. Well, I'm fucking surprised. Like Yes, it's annoying to have external genitals, especially when sexist people get mad at me for having my legs a little open as to not crush my balls. 
<laughs> you know, the biggest thing I've heard that I feel like would be annoying is like when it's sweaty and then you feel like your balls are sticking to your leg. That see, now that sounds like that would suck. Having like your balls stick to your leg. Don't love that, dude. Don't love that. Especially because it's like hair and it's sweat. It's like, you why the fuck is it touching? Don't love that. Women know little about male genitals, and many men are too, too uh, fucking words. And many men too, unfortunately. For example, it's possible to flex your pee, -pee by contracting muscles around the genital area. With heartbeat and practice, you can bounce your pee, -pee. <laughs> Oh yeah? Interesting. Sticky balls are so awful. You know something else I find really weird about pee -pees? That it just keeps going into the body. You know what I mean? Like, if you, like, you could, like, pull the stuff back. And it's, like, it just keeps going. Like, it goes on forever inside. That's so strange. For some reason in my brain, I always just thought it just, like, stopped, you know? But it's like you have a secret dick inside. You know? You guys get it. You get it. everybody should just talk about their confusion i think you know i think if everybody complained about their genitals more i think we would all be able to be a little more empathetic that's what i think that's what i think it, yeah it does like why gotta be inside me why not go outside it's like yeah what am i gonna do with you in there hello like come out and play dog come on <laughs> Fucking freaking suck tried. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's what I've heard is the most annoying. Fucking oh, tucking it sucks. Tried once, very unpleasant. I've heard that it's very like not comfortable. Is it true that it's like bending it up is fine, but bending it down is kind of like less comfortable? Is that true? Some people tuck it in their like waistband if it's like erected sometimes but it's not like the place and time do people just tuck it up is that a truth is that a thing people do i've always thought that was strange i like how now i'm just like i have questions i have questions and i need i need answers i just want to understand <laughs> i'm just trying to imagine <laughs> not your pp pee -pee. if i had one I'm convinced that if I had a pee, pee I would have a huge slong, because I think that'd be pretty sick, and I feel like I have big dick energy. Next step is to <laughs> <laughs> just disregard me. Your weight on top of the trash. Okay, yeah, like climb. Trash, like a you see that shit getting squished? Climb. To get out. There's a surgery I can have to make it longer by severing. The base anchor where the, it attaches, it makes us that it's loose but longer things one can learn from it. What? I don't love that. That sounds scary, dude. The comfortable angle is very controversial base. Some people have naturally angled or curved. So it depends on the person. Okay, what if you have no curve at all, though? Like, if there's no curve at all? Would it go up? What the fuck? Wait, hold on, dude. Some people just, like, tuck it down a pant- Hmm. I don't know. I don't think I would like having to tuck it down a pant leg. I don't think I'd like that very much. Makes me feel like I'd have a weapon. Hmm. Strange. Bending up is, e is easy as hell. Bending it down simultaneously crushes my balls and hurts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, see, that's what I thought. I thought just, it's like, just wear hoodies. You know what? I, I think that's the best bet. I think that's the best bet. Surgeon, interesting. Interesting. It's like how some people apparently you can get like a lot taller by they like, but they like fucking pop your knees or something and do like a spacer and then. I don't know. You know something else I think is weird. I think penis pumps are weird. I've seen that surgery and I just find it weird. You would just like pinch a nut. I don't know. Seems like a craft. Seems strange. Bespoke, bespoken suits and custom suits are often adjusted for the comfort of the owner. Oh! Hmm. Hmm. Okay. All right. I see. I see. Okay. 
finally, you have to wait for the exact moment when the platform is lined up. And then you get on the platform like a video game. That's the secret. Bob stares that son of a bitch blade down for several seconds after it starts moving. He wants it to line up right here with the escape hatch. The whole time you're watching a crusher blade coming towards you. It's you know what I think is underrated? Getting sterilized. I agree. I found out recently that apparently when girls get sterilized that they can get like cuts in their stomach. They'll like cut through their stomach. Great push! Hello, hello! What is going on here? Um, we're going over mancer, so alcohol, tits, man stuff. I'm also learning the logistics of peepees because I had questions. And now we're talking about sterilization, I guess. But yeah, I found out that apparently you can get like sterilized, but like sometimes like girls would get like just like slits on their stomach and they just go in through the stomach and cut it. And I was like, that sounds like an alien surgery. That sounds kind of badass. I thought that was interesting. But I would agree. I would certainly agree, Bacon. It's gonna be nerve wracking. Oh, also, what happens if you get stuck in a garbage can? Or a garbage truck? I was gonna say hi, but then saw the guy getting crushed with garbage? You know, that is a very fair question. That is a very fair question. And I get that. I definitely get that. I often find myself hurting my own balls more often than other people do. Maybe other people just lie about it. Massive schlongs aren't that great beyond the aesthetic appeal. Anyone who ever had or worked with a monster PP know that the extra foreplay and holy amount of blue will demoralize nearly everyone except size queens and- <laughs> uh, My thing with that, right, is isn't like the average like internal length of a vagina like five inches anyway? And even then, wouldn't it be, like, a hair less just because of, like, the fucking cervical opening? Is this gonna be crass? My other thing, right, is, like, I feel like for most dudes, like, would it be fun having to have a massive schlong, but you can only get, like, half of it wet? That seems kind of stupid. It just seems unnecessary. I don't feel like having, I just, like, that doesn't seem like a great thing. That's how they sterilized my cat? What? Through the stomach? What? Really? Huh. Interest actually I have to take a pee real quick. I've been drinking too much monster. I have to one one BRB, okay?
Length is the least of your problem. The girth is where the real torn is. Do you want internal bleeding or, or micro tears? Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, you know what? I will say I'm kind of glad now that uh, people are not feeling as if they have to have fucking m macro schlongs anymore. Having big pee pee is troublesome. Imagine sitting down the toilet and then you. F Ew! <laughs> I feel like also if it just like I feel like it would be annoying also if it like hits under the lip of a toilet. I don't know. Sounds bad. Uh, honest opinion. Imagine when you tell marriage discovering that you two are physically incompatible, dude. Honestly though, yeah. People too much on PV side. If the man knows how to work it, it can probably do the trick. So my rule of thumb with that has, I guess, like I've been in a relationship with a girl. And, uh, dude, it's, like, literally fine if somebody doesn't have a schlong, so I can't imagine that'd be that big of a deal, like, what size their schlong is. It's like, I can fucking, like, work with no schlong, dude. Like. Yeah. So? Like, totally. Completely. It's just all about how you use it, dude. That's it. Because also there's some people that I'm sure could just have, like, massive horse wieners, but literally, like, don't know what the fuck they're doing, and then they just end up trying to fucking punch your cervix in, and it's like, good job. Good job, dude. Bro, I can work with Nochelon, too. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. So... Maybe it- see, this is why I always say, like, I think it's like, the buys are here for the win. Like, it's always good in the hood. It's always good for me. I can have schlong. Yeah, exactly. It's like, I can have schlong, no schlong. I could wear a schlong. I could have different kind of schlongs. Maybe two schlongs. I don't know. I could wear a fucking- I could wear a fucking pee-pee on my chin if I want to. The world is my oyster. Like, you know? All of it's cool. All of it's cool. You know? I never find people have conversations like this on the internet. Sometimes it makes me wonder if I'm breaking the rules. Or, uh... If I'm just kind of ridiculous. Happened to somebody I know. Dude, yeah, imagine waiting till marriage. Like, I could maybe understand the, like, wholesome, uh, maybe wholesomeness? I don't know. The broken people are waiting until marriage. So I'm gonna have a schlong and then not have a schlong at the same time. Not sure how, but... <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, they could have both. And either way, it sounds pretty cool and pretty good to me. Then again, at the same time, I think there was one guy who had a micro penis and he waited to tell his wife until the marriage. So it's like, I don't know. What are we talking about? Ass crushing garbage now? Rest in power? Oh no. Not compatible though. Yeah, see, that's my thing. Like, I just, yeah. I can't imagine being married to somebody and then realizing we don't drive well, like, in, like, the bone tone, bound, bone town? In, like, the bone tone, bone ten? Bone town dynamic. There we go. Damn. That would fucking suck. You find out you don't have any chemistry and it's like, now I'm fucking... But that's what you gotta do. Two, otherwise, you're not gonna make it out safe. It's a balance, you know? Get the hell out of there! Wow, well, good job. That'd be cool to get someone who has a taco and a sausage. You get the whole fucking meal? You know, I feel like I've seen a video on the internet like that. But I'm not sure if it was real. I wonder how that is for them, though. Is that difficult? I guess you'd have the pros and cons of both. On top of it. He finds a handhold hmm. and escapes through the top. Would you pee out of both simultaneously? Eh. I feel like I've seen art like that before. No, I feel like I've seen a video. 
So I seen a video like that, but then they just did themselves. Yep. Yep, I don't know if that was real. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Yep, that's in my brain now. I forgot about that. Hmm. The important question. Would she pee out of both? <laughs> that's what I was wondering. I don't know. People lie when they say the sex isn't that important. Even a fully functional relationship can be annihilated by different sex drives, even if sexually compatible. Oh, I think the sex drives thing is certainly... It really depends on, like, how flexible they are, right? Like, I feel like that'd be... It's just a thing that needs to be covered, and if it's something somebody can handle. But most certainly, especially, like, if one person has a higher drive, and then they get turned down a lot by their partner, and then you end up kind of taking it as, like, a personal, like, hmm, maybe they don't like me. So, yeah, million percent dance. Million percent. Which is why it's important to cover early on in the relationship. What if they can hide their balls in the bucket <laughs> to keep them warm is it true that people use their balls to warm their hands i was told soccer players do that and i just want to know if that was true just like a like a extra add-on hand warmer i'm cool i guess all right I'm, i dig it how could a guy escape from an ass crushing garbage truck e yes Wait, bacon yes it's pretty rough. It's just, yeah, it's an anomaly. Right, right. Ah, ah! Next. What else we got? What happened? Can vodka save a guy's life? Alcohol? What? Balls are cold. Can't warm your hands with them. Oh, man, that's a disappointment. Also, yes. Wait, what? Which one is it then? So maybe it depends on the person. Some balls are warm. Some balls are cold. Maybe it depends on the person. I can respect that. Also, this can stress depending on the temperature to either keep them cool or warm. Yeah, that's the other thing. It's like hot and sweaty, and then it attaches to your leg, and then it's like also dangly. I don't know. <sighs> Pros and cons. Pros and cons. But really, I do feel like it'd be, it's so annoying sometimes. It never causes boozy stank breath. And it makes raunchy rooskies ready to go. I like vodka. First of all, swallowing the Soviet sauce could save a guy from the grave. How can vodka save a guy's life? Um, it can disinfect wounds. That's my that's my question. It has to keep sex warm in order to keep sperm alive. Yes. Balls are outside, depending on what you're wearing. Your balls may be hot or cold. Women have internal stuff, so you always get. Something warm by sticking. Thank you, Dance. <laughs> it will stretch. Not that warm. Oh my god. <laughs> Not hand warmers. Understood. Can using vodka as a sanitizer to protect against deadly germs save a life? Oh yeah, that's exactly what I was just saying. The ER doc. The if it's if it's good vodka, right? Yeah. Necessary to kill bacteria is sixty percent. And according to the Washington Post, okay. the standard liquor level of vodka is 80 proof. Damn, if I ever want to make a mod, I should just check the clothes in this fucking show. They somehow make everything just, like, slooty energy. Also, cold shrink pee pee and ball. To stay warm. It's held tighter to body to stay warm and keep the spermies at a good temperature. Drop, so that way they're not as overheated. Makes sense. Is that enough to blast bacteria? Jumping in summer is painful. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Disinfectant because 80 proof alcohol is only 40% concentration. Damn, she's gotta wear a corset and a bra? How about if a guy was starving? Could he drink vodka to stay alive? Oh, I would not recommend that. Vodka? Oh. Oh, every time I've used my bullocks to warm my hands, it worked. <laughs> Contains zero cholesterol, but to get its okay. recommended intake of 2,100 calories, an average 5'9", 160-pound guy would have to drink 22 shots. That's enough to die from alcohol poisoning. So Great. Save him from starving. Okay. So how can vodka be a miracle lifesaver? This fire water disinfect wounds. When it's used as an antidote. In North Queensland, Australia, what? a 24-year-old chugged what he thought was a sports drink. But it's... How the...
the fuck do you confuse antifreeze for a sports drink, you fucking monster? Because internal warmth would kill the spermies. Even inside, they would struggle to survive for up to... Yes, yes, dance. Big brain. Big brain. <laughs> Education time. Bro, he's chugging antifreeze? Turned out to be antifreeze. Yeah, no shit, dude. What do you mean? How could you not tell? How could you not tell? Must have been per bitter and added pre bitter and additive. Well, I'm like, dude, if I was fucking drinking me a little antifreeze, I'd be like, hmm, that's not Powerade. Like, excited boys, <laughs> alcohol boys, it'll fucking kill you, you dumb bitch. Freeze, yeah. Which contains uh. the poisonous chemical ethylene glycol. You go, you spit it out. You you spit it out. You go, what the fuck is that? You spit it out. Spit it out, dude. The one time I'll fucking tell you to spit. Spit the antifreeze out. <laughs> Come on. He either failed his suicide attempt or was drunk as dude. Yeah, you can't be fucking tasting anything then. Like, gosh. Ta antifreeze tastes good? No. Or he has a dog. Oh, warning. Do not ingest antifreeze. And if you do, don't use vodka. I thought you just told me that if I want to drink antifreeze, I can just drink vodka. Seek immediate medical drink me a little fucking antifreeze, do a little sippy sippy, like, come on. Only spit for antifreeze. Exactly. Exactly. Let's <laughs> some nasty words following. Oh, uh, yeah. I thought it was sweet. What the fuck? Is antifreeze sweet? When people don't to drink it should be encouraged. Oh no. Uh, I remember when I was a kid. And I, this is such a, oh my god, this is like a dead memory. When I was like a little kid, they gave like every single student stickers with like little like death symbols. And you were supposed to like go around to your house and like empty out all like the under of the sinks. And put little like skulls and crossbones on like every single thing and like every like cleaning chemical that was bad for you. And I just want to see if they're teaching kids that. Why the fuck? Antifreeze. How- where are you keeping your antifreeze, dude? Garage? What do you keep? You're like Powerade next to your antifreeze? That only takes approximately three to four ounces to be potentially The Darwin Awards? Ugh. I chugged all them chemicals? No. But how does this medical moonshine work? It acts as a competitive inhibitor. Dude, I was watching a podcast and somebody fucking called in. I was watching the, uh, the H3 podcast, and one of the viewers called in or whatever, and was like... Yeah, one sec. Okay. I chugged all of it, and then you died. That's why I'm ch <laughs> It's the afterlife chat. You know what? I can respect that. Yes, boot bootleggers used to mix antifreeze with wine and cheap. Oh, oh. About the spit swallow debate, some people are blissfully unaware how horrible they taste. Diet and toxicology, 90% your bodily fluids taste. Queen Eye has legs confirmed. Woo! <laughs> they are attached to my body. That is true. Alright, let's go on this let's go on that take. Hold on, the spit swallow debate. Alright, you're totally right. Some people taste fucking nasty, and then some people taste fine. It's the same thing with women, though. It's like, depending on what your diet is, you're gonna taste fucking good or bad. I think it's a good rule of thumb where if somebody spits, you're probably fucking gross, and maybe you should eat better. Why poison, poison possibly try- See, that's my question, right? Yeah. No show feet, no. What? You know, I don't get the whole feet thing anyway. I've never understood that. You know what? More power to them, though. I'm sure they love the fucking summer. R word? Check this out. Unscripted Survivor, we take 300 people serving life or murder and then dump them on an abandoned island with hidden cameras? Oh, no. That sounds like that would be fucking... I feel like that would be more of a psychology experiment than anything. I, like, that's a social experiment for sure. Interesting. 
It's like that one prisoner experiment. Where as soon as you give somebody roles, they kind of just, like, become, like, a... Like, if you give somebody power, they become fucking assholes. Right? Oh, what was that? The... What prison experiment with? Pineapple makes your fluids taste sweet. Is that super true? I wonder. Like, like now that I've upped my protein a lot, I've noticed, like, my sweat smells different. And I feel like unless you're trying to get some fucking hella gains, people should just be, like, vegetarian. I feel like vegetarians and vegans probably taste the cleanest. Honestly. From my understanding, a little bit of the chemical in antifreeze can just clean enhance the inebriated feeling. They spike. Oh, hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. But yeah, you're right. If somebody spits, you probably taste bad. Eat better. Eat cleaner. Pisk on you. Used to poison alcohol derived used to produce moonshine once the process some chemical be horrible. Oh. And if you somehow survive, you'd be visited by the Oh my so it's like it's just... get fucked, dude. You lived and you're in jail. We also showed it for ten people put in a room with a button center, and every time it's pressed it'll be a random effect. Oh, but if they don't press it, then they will get five hundred each. Oh ooh. The ethylene glycol wine scandal? Ooh. Ooh. Legally adulterated their wines using toxic substances? Oh, to make the wine spirit. Oh! No way! What the fuck? Oh my god. And you know what? This is why people have trust issues. This is exactly why people have trust issues, dude. Ah. Uh. Of the enzyme that produces the toxic metabolite that in turn causes kidney failure. Thanks for clearing that up, Doc. In English, that means the booze blocks the ethylene glycol from killing the kidney. But in his case, there was a problem. The hospital ran out of hooch. So they Acidity. had to make a booze run. Vodka is a very pure distilled liquor that can be a substitute for hospital grade alcohol. Man, I hate when my stilettos make it hard to carry all that liquor. God. The catch is the button has a five percent chance to instead let everyone win. Oh, interesting, bacon. Damn, I'd probably I'd fuck with that. I'd probably push the button, honestly. Vegans taste bland. I said it. A lot of charcuterie cheese and wine. That is where the real flavor is at. Even smokers become three star meals. What? Weird. Interesting. Huh. Huh. So dance is the guy to ask when it comes to what type of diet options people should pursue. Interesting. 40 years of paying attention to my sir. Oh no, oh no, too much awareness. There's no way that women can lift three full boxes like that. I would agree. I'm a little, do you know they're empty too? She's just pretending. Oh, I fucked up then, it's too late, eh? It's too late, fine, fair enough. And at $17.50 a liter, vodka is 57 times cheaper than pharmaceutical bunny juice. Take a fifth of that and call me in the morning. How can vodka save a guy's life? It blocks us from absorbing it in our kidneys. And I get hot, ladies? Damn. That's, ah, ah. Every time the video ends, I'm startled. Why is that? How can a guy get a free brewski? Ugh, it's cause, you know, women always getting free drinks, dude. How can I, a man, get me some fucking free brewski, dude? Peachy Keen, oh shit, you, you, you popped that? Dude, Peachy Keen's so good. Uh, the federal government had a required companies to, oh, Denature? Industrial alcohol to make it undrinkable. There was nothing that been improved over quinoa. Me being like quinoa, no. When I and methyl alcohol, oh my god. Just go to a gay bar. Just be. I, you know how a dude can get a brewski. Just be hot. <laughs> 
Why doesn't he just try being hotter? <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. I thought that was just debunked. They order it added. They hmm. Uh... Yeah, I got a case page of kids on my new page. Ooh, nice. Yeah, I really like them. I think they're pretty good. I got a couple of like the four packs when they came out, which are like smaller than these, but. I like all the ultra flavors, but Peachy Keen's definitely a top tier one right now. Oh, I feel weird when I don't wear my glasses on stream. Here, you guys can look at my face while I clean my stuff. Yo, I can't even see the chat right now. Sick. <laughs> my other glasses snapped, and so I had to super glue them together. Oh, that'd be real cute. Like, fucking the, like, really stereotypical nerds when they have to, like, tape their glasses together. That's basically what happened to me, but instead I just super glued it. And, uh, it's fine now. It's alright. It's all good. Oh, that's so much fucking better. It's like my life's fucking in 1080p now. Are you a candidate for LASIK? Uh, I don't know, actually. I would definitely get LASIK, but I don't know because my real issue is that I have, like, esotropia. And I don't know the logistics on that. Closely inspects Knight's face with no glasses. Oh, so I want to say, Bacon, I appreciate that you call me Knight instead of Queen. I don't know why being called Queen makes me feel, like, weirded out. Makes you feel a little dysphoric sometimes. If that makes sense. I don't know. It took like three months for that case of monster to show up. Shit. My vision without glasses is like too f Exactly. I remember the first time I got glass and I was like, whoa. Everything's in HD, dude. What? No, but <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh it makes nothing better, honestly. I'm surprised, though. I'm surprised that it took that long. Weird. I mean, I guess it's new. I guess it's new. So that makes sense. Ugh. All right. How to get a free brewski. Be a hot dude. Bartender, and not the bouncer. Ah! How can a guy get free brewski? Yeah. Maybe the best way to get free beer. Brewski. Broski. Never too much. Unofficially, after too many dressers and IV, especially. Hmm. Hmm. Is to go to the source, the heaven of hops, a brewery. According to the Brewers Association, most companies give free samples at the end. Just be hot. I don't know what to say, dude. Bartender was hot. Yeah, she was pretty. Mm-hmm. I'm like. Steal it! That works too. I'm just saying, like, I don't know. I'm not really a bar goer, but like, if some chick finds a dude good looking, why wouldn't she just buy him? This is my bi brain talking. I'm just like, why the fuck wouldn't I buy someone a drink? Tours, if I went to a bar, I guess. So no, two ounces? What the fuck is that? Come on. I went time. Got with a bartender. He was de oh spicy. Ooh. I mean, I feel he has to be a good-looking bartender to get them mad tips, right? Hey, lots of bars have ladies' nights where chicks chug for free. Should dudes dress up in drag? And so their idea. If you're gonna dress up as a woman, you can be a hot woman. You don't have to go in here fucking looking like, I don't know, a middle-aged woman on fucking, like, church Sunday. Come on, what the fuck is this gear, dude? Like, dude, she looks like somebody who's gonna ask for the fucking manager at fucking Trader Joe's. God. Ugh. Mad tips isn't worth dealing with flirty and moody drunks. That is certainly a good point, Dan. Certainly a good point. If anyone actually does that, they're the fucking worst. For like one in three drinks, right? Like if you're a cool person, yeah, totally. On the house, two. According to the University of Arkansas, the larynx, commonly known as the Adam's apple, protrudes from the neck 30 degrees more. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 
Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, that's what an Adam's apple looks like, yeah. What would blow his cover is his Adam's apple. His, uh, you think that's what's blowing a fucking look at him? Come on! Dead ass? Dead ass. Bro, his neck just went fucking- I know, right? So they're just saying that dude's out of, like, fucking larynx is averagely bigger. I mean, like, some, like, women have- okay. Whatever. I briefly- I was briefly friends with a flirty drunk to fucking fight to him. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm glad that he embraced sobriety. That's always a plus. I don't think it's your fucking neck, dude. Time. Brewery tours and dressing and drag won't let it do drink for free. There's only one way to chug tall ones all day at no charge. Okay. How can a guy get free brewski? All he's got to do is go and get it at the local public landfill. Warning, drinking expired beer from a public landfill may be hazardous to your health. If a guy's got no cash, how can he find free... You're telling me the only way for a guy to get a free drink is to go to the trash? in the trash over 45 like excuse me salam hello rhyme how's it going how are you today lad a billion bottles and cans of beer are produced all right this is like this is like the idea of if you find some fucking used alcohol try to get the little last sippy sips out the bottom of them like So I might, you know, are we allowed to, I think it's fine. Is that fine? I'll say it's fine. So I might get some sort of, right, yeah. You ain't going to get this quality, I mean, maidens <laughs> by digging into trash for beers. What is this, a homeless fantasy? Honestly, it's like, how do you get, like, cheaper food? How do you get cheap food? Uh, what you do is you dig in the trash. It's like, I fucking, okay, sure. I, lo I love my beer fucking cooking in the sun in a used bottle. Beer, sometimes Little fucking cigarette ashes. Who am I, you know? Because it's just cheaper to dispose it in the dump than trying to recycle. According to the Brewers Association, yes. less than 1% of their waste... I'm gonna get some free beers, Burb. Yeah. But that's still an astounding 45 million beer bottles a year! It's a drinker's quick drink! You're not get- what the fuck? They're not- but can a bro really bring it home? Find it. Find me one. According to the Columbia Daily Tribune, two sanitation workers from a public Missouri landfill scored 50 cases of beer that were past their expiration date. I... I guess that's technically true. But those dates are just like and are not required by the Food and Drug Administration, so the beer inside can still be fine. It... Man's did pogger face for some old fucking expired beer. At a public landfill. Okay, that's not the type of flex you think it is at all, dude. That is not the flex that you think it is at all. At all, bro, what? I think my tip would, I don't know, I have an idea. Be a nicer guy, dress nice. Huh. This entire YouTube channel feels like a British tabloid. Like, I'm just... Beer. Tits. Women don't wear shirts. Hooking up with a kinky chick is awesome. <laughs> Hold on, one more time. Hooking up with a kinky chick is awesome. But not if you wake up locked in chains! What? No! <laughs> no, she tied me to the bed and won't let me go! Damn, it was so fun before! Bro, I'm so cool, I, I dived into used condom shoes, all sorts of things that got expired cases of beer. Hell yeah! British tabloids are way more trashy, ugh. Dude. One thing that can save your ass now, dude. 
A beer can? How can you open a combination lock with a beer can? Like just At first you had my interest. Now you have my see? Right, right. So this guess kinky girls are always the most fun. I guess. I mean, hey, you might get stuck to the bed. Don't know what to tell you. The main lock casing and the lock mechanism. It's just asking her, dude. There's this one movie about this, but like the girl gets locked to the bed, and then she like wakes up and then finds out that in the morning her fucking husband is dead, and she is like after one fucking kinky night is now changed to the bed with her like dead husband, and that's a fear of mine. So how does it work? Freaks me out. Dial to move the mechanism out of the way, and you can open the shackle. Yeah. The only problem is that dirty girl didn't give you the combo. To escape, you gotta use the beer can to make a shim, a tapered wedge used to pick the lock. How the fuck am I cutting that? How the fuck am I getting that? that you can use a beer how am I getting that? Let's. What am I gonna do? Rip it with my teeth? That's so specific. I just so happened to have scissors. A blade? The fuck? No, it's a fact. I've had the most fun with kinky girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like kinky humans would probably be more fun because they have more open-mindedness. How did it end? Did she eat him? I think she escaped, but I never watched the movie. I just watched the trailer and I was like, I don't need to awaken this fear. Sorry. British Teller's so fucking trashy, most of them get charged double by their insurance and by their lawyers because they often settle behind closer. Oh, interesting. Hmm. It can is that the wall of the can is about 0.25 of a millimeter thick. Okay. The gap between the shackle and the body of the log is just a bit bigger. How am I going to get a fucking thing so specific, well, you though? you have to know exactly how to make it. Step one. You want to empty a can of beer? My favorite part. Step two. Okay. You want to cut rectangle that's about an inch by two i just so happen to have scissors hey no problemo i don't cut know the rectangle into the shape of a letter m m stands for huge melon <laughs> uh, what Dude. huge melons bro up the two side parts of the m until it looks like a, a jog strap bending a jock strap? That's where your brain your went? Jock is what, got you into this mess. what the Step fuck? Three, put your jock strap shim around the shackle of Slip it in. Okay. Alright. M stands for huge so melons. Pro. You turn it 380 degrees at that point, then you should be able to pop the lock open. I wanna try this. Alright, okay. Need to be in a bad situation. Okay, you know what? This might be helpful, I guess. Insane idea. Don't let your partner chain you if you think they might need this video's advice to escape your restraints. Fuck. Safe words, anyone? Jeez. Now it's time for you to teach that naughty girl a lesson. I don't know about that, bro. I don't know. How can you catch your guy getting some on the side? Oh, no. I want a kinky girl to chain me. Sounds like you got a couple weeks yet, Bacon, but you're on your way there. I've got a feeling you would still be chained to the bed, but now I have several razor thin cuts on your hands. That's my thing. I'm like, I feel like I'd just be fucked. This isn't a man's or no. A woman asks and then a man serves. Got him. Carry scissors and a beer everywhere. Okay, got it. Exactly. Even back then, there were pressure release handcuffs. You wouldn't need a key. Somebody press a key. Yeah, yeah. My boyfriend is cheating on me. Women have been wondering that since the dawn of time. Can a girl tell if her stud's been straying by snooping through the call history in his cell phone? That would reveal hookups with hotties on the side, right? Maybe not. Some guys get another prepaid phone to cover their cheating tracks. 
So checking his regular phone won't reveal hidden booty. He's getting a he has a whole fake phone, bro. Ugh. Here's my rule of thumb. Literally, I just don't have any phone. Like, usually if I'm with someone, they just know my passwords. Because why the fuck do I care? So should a girl hire a private investigator? No, what the fuck, dude? If you're that fucking worried, you probably shouldn't be dating. Because that means you already don't have fucking trust. If you don't have trust in the relationship, you're already kind of fucked. Like... Yeah, you can tell that someone's cheating by asking him, then go with the guy. Yeah. This is a womancer? Dude, what the hell? Just by checking his phone, you won't know, because he might have a throwaway phone. Like, okay. Peter, PIs know how to tail tail. But according to the Maryland State Law Library, PIs charge an average of $75 an hour. I mean, that's reasonable, considering half the time they're just sitting in a car. I tried to do this with a past relationship, not worth it. She still found out. Bacon, what? No, you, no. No. No, ch no. You can't, don't confess that in this chat. I tried to, don't do it, don't cheat, just don't cheat, that's it, that's it. Yeah, you should, Bacon. You should feel bad. That's a shitty thing to do. A good rule of thumb usually is I feel like if somebody is going to be a cheater, there's a good chance they're always going to be a cheater. It's like if somebody cheats on their girlfriend or boyfriend for you, they would probably cheat on you again with someone else. Tisk. Bad. Not right. Not good. This chat has anti-cheat bias, if such a thing exists. You have to repent for your sins. <laughs> Bad thing to do. Bad thing. I've been cheated on once, and I literally walked in on it. Horrible. <laughs> she 100% trusts me, then I let her hit me if she wants as hard as she wants. She hit my gut very hard. Dude, I couldn't even- I would fucking- No, somebody thinking that, like, I could just fucking hit them? No. Ugh. I'm in it for the long game, though. Mental torment. I'm mental torment, dude. There's no point to physically hurt somebody, but I like I pray that their mental torment haunts them forever. Cause I think that's worse than anything. If they cheat for you of with you, they will cheat. Yes, exactly, exactly. Dance. Kind of fucked up, bacon. Kind of fucked up. Just saying. Oh yeah, it was fun. I walked in on it. And then and then I was and then she claimed um that he R worded her. Um and then a couple months after that, when I said I couldn't look at her and that we wouldn't get back together, um they're married now. So um so much for that, I guess. Whatever. I mean, in retrospect, I'm kinda glad it didn't work out. Definitely wasn't somebody I would ever want to, like, get married to or anything, but still. Ugh, how fucked up. It's even worse. I hate, fucking hate when people lie about shit like that. Like, I walked in on it. Oh, he assaulted me. Did he now? Did he? Did he? Hmm. 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 If you want to get out, just get- yeah, no need- right, I know. Hey, I know, I know. I'm not gonna defend myself for shit. Okay. At least you know, Bacon. At least you know. As long as you can spend your time repenting, I guess. It's really up between you two to determine if that apology or sorriness is really there. Personally, for me, it was not. I don't think I would ever- I don't know. I don't know. Not amicable, I guess. I would say that you were young and dumb, but plenty of young and dumb people, including myself, never did this. Hopefully wisdom found you. I just, I just, yeah. Yeah, walking in on it's certainly something. That's certainly a fucking surprise, I tell you what. 
You know what's even more ironic? Well, fuck it. We'll go we'll go on the story a little bit. It was like more ironic because like we were like hanging out with like friends or whatever, and we were drinking just like a little bit. Drinking maybe a little too much, which is also why I say I don't think drinking is an excuse. But like literally, it was happening while I was like in the shower vomiting. And then I come out of the shower after fucking profusely vomiting to walk in on that. Probably the worst night of my life. Probably the worst night of my life. Uh, and then I left. Bad night. Left. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. Not good. Failed. Drove to a parking lot. Had a long think. I think it helped. But, uh... Yeah, that's shit like that. I'm like, I don't think I'd ever wish that upon anybody. She knew it was there, and she let me comfort her afterwards. Haven't she since, but she did leave for that, and I'm happy she did, because now she's married with two kids. Well, you know, see, there you go. My ex fell asleep with her thumb on the phone, so it didn't lock. I woke up, went looking for her, got to read more than I needed to, took my ring off, left. Yeah. Yeah. Never walked in on cheating exes. I saw clothes, emails, news, paraphernalia, and even text. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know. It was really fucked. Like, I walked in on it, and then at first she was like, it didn't happen, and I was like, literally, y'all were naked. <laughs> like, y'all were naked, dude. You can't tell me that nothing was happening. I literally seen his ass cheeks. And then after I was like, he assaulted me. And I'm like, maybe don't joke about things like that. Maybe don't lie about things like that, because obviously it wasn't a joke. Until I walked in. Hmm. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. It was the first day they met, too. I almost would have made more fucking sense if there was a build-up. I'm like, damn, fucking like that, dude? Come on. Come on. Anyway, um, I guess it made me mad. And, uh, I don't know. And then, um, I guess now I'm a lot- I'm- I don't know. Lost a lot of weight. Better life now. So it's fine. I've been cheating on th cheated on three times or twice by guys and one by a lady. Oh, no. The see the thing with it though was so weird because and like she spent so fucking long trying to get me back. She bought me so much shit trying to get me back, and I'm like, I don't know what to tell you, but my brain just like doesn't get over things, you know. Like, you can't get that image out of your skull. You just can't. Like, maybe some people can, but I can't. And what was even more fucked up about it is we had, like, a pretty much open relationship. I was literally like, you just have to tell me. You just have to tell me. Like, be clear about it and, like, tell me. So, like, on top of that, I was like, you, f like, hello? I was literally like, if you want to get with somebody, you just have to let me know. We couldn't have an open relationship. It's cool. You still had to do that. Like, how fucking low. <laughs> like, how low. I got one of my exes beaten up or cheated. Oh my god, some of it cheated before and after. I was convinced into giving a second chance. Oh, Bacon, I'm sorry about the ads. I'm sorry about the ads. I'm so sorry. So we decided to try for the kids six months go by. We never had a honeymoon, so we planned on. We planned on. Oh, BlizzCon, try to get tickets, was told we could only get one. Oh, damn. Long story short, she went on her honeymoon with someone else, came back with a. What? A plate size BDSM branding on her back that she said was given to her by her master? What a time to discover that I didn't have access to most of our joint bank accounts? What the fuck? Oh my god, Iron Hand. Oh my god. Sheesh. That's so fucked up. What the hell? God. She didn't want you back. She wanted her to talk away and wasn't sexually satisfied with pee-pee. Yes, they got married because she got pregnant. Oh my god, and now she's miserable and unsafe. Good. Yeah, fuck that bitch. 
Fuck that. You know what? Fuck all those people. What the <laughs> I don't know. Like, I feel like I'm, like, a super, like, open person. That's, like, the fucked thing about it. Like, I'm not somebody that's gonna get, like, offended if somebody I'm with is like, yeah, that person's good looking, you know? Like, that's a thing that I also bother when people get upset when you say someone's good. Like, yeah, of course you're gonna find other people hot. Like, my rule of thumb is that you're gonna find other people attractive, right? I just feel like the person you're dating should be the most attractive to you. But it's, like, dumb shit like that. Like, talk to me if you want an open relationship. Just don't go behind my back. Fucking talk to me about it. Like, come on. Like, that is such a fucking, oh, that's like the deepest portrayal. Oh my god, what the hell? Why did you have access to your, oh my god. <laughs> I keep rereading it, and I'm still like, I got bent out of shape. when she, I get bent out of shape when she's in my state. She leaves again tomorrow. Ugh, ugh. Yeah, fuck me, I'm a shit person. Also, fuck me, JK. <laughs> Uh, if I ever get married and cheat on, I'm finna land me in jail for some double homos I ran up in this. Oh my god. In Minecraft? So that can never legally be held against you. Dance. <laughs> in Minecraft, right? Oh, uh, but yeah, I don't... That's really fucked, Iron Hand. That's really fucked. <laughs> what the hell? I'd fallen into depression after my mother died of lymphoma. She basically took over running 100% of the finances. Yeah, but to totally lose access to all of those accounts- Oh my gosh. I don't know, that's another reason also why I would have a prenup. I don't care, like, who I'm marrying, I feel like a prenup's important. I always say that. I don't matter, even if we don't have a shit ton of money. I feel like you should always get a prenup in marriage, because you never know how shit's going to turn out in the end. And I want my, like, I love you and care about you logic brain to over-trump, like, some fucking future shitty version of me or something if that happened. I know how to make a body disappear in Minecraft flesh eating ants and- Finally mince meat. They shall never be found. Oh my god. Uh, goodness gracious. Oh, we fucking go all over the place in this stream. But you know what? That's why I love it. Uh, goodness. Okay, how do you catch somebody cheating? That's the question. Demand a retainer and a deposit. And that can cost upwards of five grand. His phone won't give him away. Okay. Right? How can you catch your guy getting some on the side? The best way to trap a dirtbag who's been plowing another field is to use cheating spray. The BBC. What? Divorce and sue for fraud if some money is missing. Ah, oh, God, I feel like the fucking low ball of it, too, is literally, like, going at a- oh my god. Our honeymoon was so much fucking- Mmm. 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 Mm. That fills me with rage. <laughs> Be full custody of the kids I wait child support. She left with her 1080 PI gaming machine I built for her, a VR headset. Student loan paid off, and that was it. I mean, yeah, fair enough. Oh, it's very easy to catch a man cheating. Just ask them if they're hanging with friends and ask if they're hanging out. That's the thing. I feel like I would know a million percent if there was, like, a build-up to the cheating. I think that's why it caught me so off guard. Because, like, how do you, like, just meet somebody and then fucking cheat the same fucking night? Like... I forgot the two guys that she- Oh! Clever. I don't know, I just- Like, it's just something more to talk about, I don't know. The Ponte Aisha Detective Agency in Osaka, Japan has created the one and only S-Check. A two-spray- Sperm detector? Why is there gonna be- What do you mean? System that detects the presence of semen on clothing. The first spray is sodium, a naphthal acid- First question. Is he just busting his load all over the place? Second question. Do you really think he's cheating at, like, in your house, in your bed? It'd probably be while you are boning. And even then, it's like... How can you prove whose fucking semen it is? This is stupid. This is fucking stupid. Semen spray? What the f- 
Uh, since my court lives in a civilized the rest would. Divorces are rare and nearly always at fault. So if your family doesn't have your back, no one would luck. You disappeared, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh no. Matches onto the PSA enzyme found in semen. The second spray is a dye that interacts with the first spray and turns those telltale splotches bright green. I mean, like, who cares if he fucking nuts in his pants? I don't give a shit if he has a fucking wet dream. This is stupid. Their friends are never going to think that you may suspect cheating because they always are the best of their buddy. I guess. I don't know. I don't know if I, I've never really dated somebody that has a lot of friends. Hmm. Weird. No, I feel like I could really- I'm usually pretty, like, sensitive on that thing, but I guess I don't have that much to reference. How can you catch your guy getting some on the side? I don't think me fucking spraying his fucking shorts with some semen spray is gonna help anything. Bro, you had a wet dream? Don't cheat. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, I don't care if he fucking nuts his underwear. Like, whatever. Your prerogative. I don't know how much matrimonial laws are in your country, but if you begin to pay student loans after getting married, you can sue for the money since it was an investment. Financial household advice. Honestly, that might be plausible, but I just feel like Iron Hand tends to be too nice. You know? And I guess you're right, Iron Hand, in like the grand scheme of things. She definitely didn't get a whole hell of a lot out of the deal. Like, a computer and a VR headset, it's like, okay, I feel like the student loans would really be the biggest thing, and even then it's like... Spray is the only way. So we nutted his shorts! Give the man a break! I don't... I think a guy's allowed to fucking nut in his underwear. That's the least that you can do. Come on. How can she make her boobs bigger with a... Bigger titties? Whoa, bigger tits? Holy shit, dude. Holy balls, wow. Oh, that reminds me of that one fucking Britney Spears pose. Nice doesn't pay bills. Money plus rifle petty behavior. What else is there to ask for? <laughs> can my friend make her boobs bigger without going under the knife? Oh my god, how can my friend have bigger tits, dude? Dude, I want my friend to have bigger tits. My, not my girlfriend. I'll make titty big. Dude, I want my friends to have bigger booba. Come on, how can I have her have bigger bazongas, my guy? Something your dude will wanna know too. No, I wanna know. To the American Society for Aesthetic Plastic yeah, uh-huh. Augmentation procedure. Ew. It cost sounded gross. Kinda pricey. There's gotta be a better way to supersize those snuggle puffs. Snuggle puffs? Nerds discovered lighting, postures, and pusher press. Exactly. Will rubbing vitamin E on boobs make them bigger? A Most tits are literally just push-up bras. Study by the National College of Neuropathic Medicine. It's literally just like, why do you think they all have fucking cleavage e up to their necks? You don't need to have big tits to have fucking big cleavage. But could it also make those breasts bigger? We asked the plastic surgeon. But rubbing vitamin E on your breasts may make your Wait! Oh my god! I think I, I know him! Oh wait! him Press feel softer. is he the guy on tiktok now he has to be it may make the skin nicer but it will not make your breasts bigger. okay supple titty but not big titty okay we went child support for four kids in a rather unheard of give in family court mm, true honestly even though i'm emotionally compromised right now i'm satisfied with the end oh, i assumed i was about to be destroyed in family court he, that's what I'm saying, Bacon. He looks like the TikTok dog. I think he is. I, I don't know for sure, but they look so similar. And he's. I feel like he gives me that good energy. I think you got a decent end result ex outside of, I guess, the whole relationship. You know what I mean? But the fact that you get full... Sub yeah, no. As a, as a dude, no. I feel like that's unheard of. What? what? Cold? What? <laughs> Why do they fucking sound like that? Okay, so my nipple gets hard. Okay. 
I mean, I guess a smaller nip would make the boob look bigger, on right? E will transform a couple of A cups into ginormous jugs. Neither okay. will touch them with freezing fingers. So, how can she make her boobs bigger without surgery? Okay. To find out the secret. Yeah, I want to know the secret. We okay. gotta travel to Thailand. Where Thailand. A pair of tiny tamales into grand tetons by touching them using the secret technique. Okay. The Thailand breast slap. What the fuck? <laughs> if she would have been able to convince her master to move here, I would have been splitting my income and parenting time. If she would have gotten the kids to watch in zero day. So grand. Ugh. Her master? What the fuck? <laughs> so fucking odd. Hey, go back in the clip? Why, why, why? Back to the plastic surgeon? Okay. When you get old and she may think that all is forgiven and forgotten, take her to court with the copies of Pam's first new Oh my god! Oh my god, dance. I love how fucking savage you are. <laughs> I really do. Where are- what? Are we tits? Ass? Boobs? But could it also make those breasts? Bigger. We asked the plastic I think it was Anthony Yoon. Dr. Anthony Yoon. I believe. What? <laughs> Why? Why? No. Your breasts may make your breasts feel softer and may make Alright, soft nicer, boobs, pretty cool. Alright. Make your breasts bigger. Savage blood for blood. Savage in the best way possible. You're right. Eye for an eye. It is the TikTok guy who was like, I swear I know his face. Look, That's awesome. The size of a woman's yeah, tits, titties, titty, titty, tit, tit, tit. Surgery. Okay, to tit slap. The secret to knock out knockers. We've got to travel to Thailand. When her tits knock you out? That was bad timing. Okay, okay. I'm soft to the core. <laughs> yeah. He's nice, lad. Using the secret technique known as Fine. That's it. Fine. Show me the tit slap. What is it? The Thailand what is it? Was developed by a beautician as an alternative to breast implants as a way to make the breast larger. According to the Independent of London, the Thai government has sanctioned this procedure as an alternative to surgical breast enlargement. So how does it work? The Thailand breast slap is a three-month regimen of aggressive massage, slapping of the breast. Is this being honest with me? Are you what the four kids plus student loans? Blood for blood, God skulls for the skull throw. <laughs> pushing tissues into the breast as a way to make it larger. It works through the process of tissue expansion. Well, tissue expansion works by actually recruiting tissues. I'm fucking what? I oh. Yeah. Wow, why do we so aggressive? I enjoy watching the women get the titty slap. Dude, what the hell? From around the area that we're trying to expand, the fatty tissues from her stomach and sides can migrate to the chest, causing them to permanently stretch, making that bust burst. But how breast slap can enlarge so if i smack my titties i'll have less stomach fat and fatter tits is that what i'm hearing did the doctor per se just say that slapping your titties can recruit surrounding tissues yes your breast by up to four inches and that's like going from an a to a d cup Damn! Wait, what the fuck? You're not telling me those titties are an A cup. Don't lie to me. By up to four inches, and that's like going from an A. Actually, you know what? I lied. That's a pretty small bra. Okay, I can kind of see. Although that bra doesn't fit her. It's not even sitting against her rib cage, so she's definitely not an A cup. That bra is too small. The bra is supposed to be sitting against your ribs, and it's kind of fucking levitating out. 
not bacon. Just let me smack your titty, please. Could you fucking imagine, though? Some chick is just like, hey. If you want my tits bigger, you're gonna have to smack the shit out of them, dude. Like... The Thailand breast slap, you know, you know, you know, you know. I'll be honest, I feel like fake boobs kind of move weird when they're too big for, like, the girl's chest bone. Like, I feel like more breast implants should be accompanied with fat transfers, so that way they still, like, move and squish right. You know what? I've actually never touched a fake titty. Hmm. Maybe someday. Damn! That's three whole cup size. They swell because they are bruised. They would look pretty damaged. Fastest way to get someone to call nine on the person you're dating. How can she make her boobs bigger without uh, surgery? Smack them silly with just fucking bitch slap them tits, dude. Oh my god. What the fuck? Oh. Python. My unofficial video says I have to smack her tits. I 100% only if she wants me to because size doesn't matter. I enjoy all titty sizes. That's where I'm at. I'm like, I feel like all titties are good titties. This guy's getting back to nature. The warm sun. The fresh. Fucking slap my tit. <laughs> what the hell? The death hungry snake! Ugh. No, I want to see him get fucking tied up by a python. Get choked. Just get your beer can and cut it open. Duh. You would first take the tail and then untwist it from the back. Use it backwards. You gotta grab that python by the face and then shove your fingers right in his eyes. You need to lower your heart rate. Lower your heart rate. The python thinks you're dead. It's gonna let you go. Warning: Pythons. <laughs> Cog. Size matters. No life. It didn't. All titties would attract and arouse you equally. Honestly, I will say though, I don't feel like I like overly large titties, and I don't like overly fake titties. Personally. I've also noticed I feel like ten to people tend to not understand what fucking cup size a tit is at all. It's like smack my tit. And that kids is how I met your mother. <laughs> but I mean I mean you are right. Like if you look at subreddits, right, you can usually tell what people are primarily into. Although I think the same people that are into size, it's like, well fine, then if you're into chicks with fucking triple D's, then I guess I'm into fucking horse dicks. Are extremely dangerous. If you see one, you should just stay the hell You know what? Never take that out of context. Okay, Hello, thank you. Me. Don't think you'll ever run into one of these man eaters? Dude, they're mounting on. Oh, he's so cute! Oh, I love the snake. <laughs> Clip it. <laughs> no. No. Truth. Two big turns me off, but that is my general limit. I feel like too big tends to not age well, and I feel like I would want somebody that, like, I know is still gonna have, like, beautiful tits when they're, like, 45, you know? Like, I want somebody that's like, you know what, you know, even at 60, she's gonna have pretty decent tits. Of the you know what, I don't want to sound like a misogynist. I'm just saying that it can be fucking a problem, and you know what, too big, spine problems, I don't want to hear about it complaining. Fucking bras, annoying to buy, big titty bras cost so much fucking money. Cute snack, must pet. Oh my gosh, have you guys seen the pictures of little snakes that wear hats? I have to ask. Literal or meta metaphorical? Metaphorical! Metaphorical. If one's gonna have to be like, I want some big fucking giant gargantuan titties, then it's like, then I guess in that same equate, it would be like, well then I want somebody with a massive horse penis. Show pictures of snakes with hats? Okay. Snakes with hats. I love them. They're so cute. Oh, I love these. Oh, that's my favorite thing. Don't make fun of me. All right. Come on. Look at them. Look at that little guy. Open this on a new page. Look at him. 
<laughs> rest of the stream must be this. I love him so much. There are also pictures of dicks with hats. <laughs> that sounds like I would need to have a fucking- We would need to have, like, a not safe for work Discord stream or something for that energy. Am I allowed to do that? Oh my god, so cute. Oh, look at him. Little royal snake? Wow. Wow, that is fucking beautiful. This makes me want to have a pet snake. Are you kidding me? Dude. Snakes are so cool. Snakes are so cool. Oh, so nice. So cute. Little crocheted hat. Oh my god, a little sweater maybe? A little snake sweater? A little snake hat? If you're gonna send a dick pic, at least dress it up like Hulk Hogan or something. Put some effort into it. Dude, for real, though. For real. Pigeon or snake wearing a party hat. Oh, thank you. I much prefer the snake wearing a party hat. Dude, it's so cute. I want real hats. Give me some fucking real hats. More. Alright. Alright, okay. Anyway, snakes wear hats. Yeah, I would say some people do not know how to fucking take a pee pee pick at all. You gotta have to put some fucking effort into it, bro. I seen one person that sent a pee pee pick while they were just like on the toilet. It's like, bro, is somebody supposed to think it's hot that you're fucking rock hard taking a shit? Do better. I looked up dick with hat and got an old guy fishing while he had a. <laughs> Richard, not again. Uh. Yeah, I love this. So cute. Oh, yes, the wine scandal. Ah, uh, yes, fat does float. Bancers, two thousand. Okay, context. Anyway. Cutie snakes. United States, according to some estimates, They're just so cute. I don't know what to say. Of these like, look, I want to be friends with a snake. They can someone with no, he wasn't fishing naked. Well, that's good. She is they not curling 90 pounds. And weigh 400 pounds. So what can a guy expect when this killer comes I only say that because I can only curl, like, 20. Her arm. I could only do like a probably a 40 pound bar. We asked the wildlife expert. Python is a deadly animal. If it got me on the chest or the neck, I'm going down. You can be sitting in the grass, minding your own business. Is this an important thing to learn? Are pythons around where I live? Strikes, bites. Not sure. Immediately the body follows just like being hit by a sucker punch. Followed up okay. by a professional wrestler's grip. Okay. Pressure is enough to make your eyes bleed. Every time you take a breath, and you breathe out, it tightens some more. And you will be unconscious in less than 15 seconds. Tee hee. Tee hee gets tightened. 15 seconds? How the hell can a guy escape? How about using brute force to pull the python off from the middle? Now nah, you're a weak the bitch. The people make when they're attacked by a python is trying to undo the snake from the middle. It's like trying to undo a knot when it's tied at both ends. Oh, start at the tail end. So jerking that snake off won't work. Should a guy try and beat the python at its own game by strangling him? The python can hold his breath a very long time. Certainly longer than you can. Uh, that won't work. Oh, either. yes, catch snake. But there's one way that a dude has escaped the clenches of a hungry python. To find out the secret, we've got to travel to the plains of Kenya. There's an incredible report uh, by the BBC about okay. an African gentleman in Kenya who was attacked by a 13-foot python. Respect. His own life. He only had 15 seconds to perform three survival steps. Step one, strip the Pleasuring snake no work. Damn it, I can't just jerky jerk the snake. Sad. Probably just chewed on its head. Oh shit, that's a great idea. Those brave are crazy enough for dressed up genitals. Our cost penis. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Dan. What's that thing called when you can put your pee pee in another pee pee? Like you can take your pee pee and put it in a pee pee urethra. I feel like I was on that subreddit before. With a shirt covering the python's mouth, its massive jaws can't give the dude the death grip needed. Docking. Thank you, Iron Hand. Thanks, Dance, you're a real hero. Can't just make Snake come. Big Sag, what the heck? To turn him into dinner. So what's step two? 
second, take a deep breath. If a guy takes a deep breath and doesn't exhale, the python can't squeeze the air out of his lungs. But time is running out, so he's got to move on to step three. The secret that will save his life. Bite the python's tail! When one bites a python on the tail, the python instantly releases you and you run away. That's what the guy in Kenya did, and he lived to see another day. So chomp the tail! Fucking chomp it off! It's me. Oh, docking is foreskin. There is no attention of PP into another. That is another. There's no assertion of PP into another people. That are you sure? Cause I've definitely seen a dude take an object and shove it into his urethra. That I'm pretty sure he was able to build to the point where he could put a PP in another PP. Hold on. Let me look this up on my phone. Because now I'm not- now I need to figure it out. Hold on. Hold on now. I don't know. I don't know now. Now I'm really confused. Hold on. Um, it's on it. I know. I know it's real. I know it's real. I know it's real. Sounding? Sounding, maybe? Sounding. Sounding, I think. There's like a reddit for it, but I definitely seen a dude stretch it out enough where he could like full on take on it, like take in another dude. You guys. Yes. Yes. Why is it that Automod didn't have an issue with cock stuffing? I'm fuck Automod. Automod. Come on now. All right. Okay. We figured it out. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It is real. I need to go now. No. No, Cog. And send that son of a bitch soaring. And then you fucking chuck it, dude. What do to escape the death grip of a bloodthirsty python? Gag the snake. Fucking gag it. Gag it. Bite him. Run away. Too into it. Too into it. It's a run like hell. All right, that makes sense. All right, thank you for the tip. I'll make sure to bite the snake next time. Oh, Mancers and radioactive fallout suit? I'm into it. Chip bag? Nothing beats Aluminum foil? Hmm, kind of sus. Make me mod so I can say come? No, because that means you can say anything and now I'm worried. Until some wacko drops a new. No, I was just trying to watch clowns get it on and now we're in an apocalypse. Damn it. Uh. I just can't stand this format of videos. Oh, really? Why is that, Cog? Now this dude needs something quick and cheap to save. Just because just it's like old, like shitty TV. Uh, radioactive fallout suit for under five bucks. Bro, my my idea is gonna be like, yes, <laughs> okay, fair enough, Cog. I feel you on that one, dude. It's just so fucking funny to react to. It makes me just baffled. And it was on. See, it was on season. I think it had like three or four seasons of this. Have I ever said anything that's shady or shifty? I don't know, Bacon. I'm pretty sure out of today, you're the only person I've had to, like, auto-mod manual approve. What is regular? I mean, like... I don't know, actually. I'm not, sh I'm not sure, now that you say that. I have no idea. Hmm. Just, it's just general urethra stuff, right? When a new 
nuclear bomb explodes, the plutonium disintegrates into radioactive fallout. Sometimes I feel like I'm watching really old school YouTube. You can get acute like the editing of this is like when I find that old YouTube video from like nine years ago. Syndrome, characterized by headache. Makes me feel weird. We're watching a show about tits, ass, and beer. Exactly. We're sprinkling a little bit of importance, you know? What if you get bit by a cobra? What if you drink too much and you get stuck in the trash can? You know, what are you gonna do? Radiation? Hello? If there's an apocalypse? So you need a survival suit. I think we're gonna need more than that, though. Easily cost well over $1,700. Damn! So how do you make one for less than five bucks? Chips? The first step is to take 100% cotton t-shirts and cut them into three or four inch strips. This will allow you to create a oh my, fitting suit. Oh my Oh my god, tits. What? Is you take borax and mix it with a little bit of water, making a slurry. Then you okay. coat the strips with the slurry. Okay, you need to calm the hell down, dude. That dude. Well, I've never seen a woman represent the like early 2000s so much better than this woman right here. Right here. That's it. Spheric administration. Borax is a naturally occurring compound containing boron. It's used as a cleaning agent, and a big box only I mean, costs four bucks. Yeah, I use borax. So sure. let the strips soak in the slurry for one hour. Okay, but shirts are kind of expensive, and you're assuming I'm gonna tear apart all my old shirts. I like my shirts. That's so the bad boy. I'll tape the inside of my earbud and suddenly music started playing in Twitch stuff. Oh, what? Really? Oh, I tapped. Mmm, I tapped. You got, you're, you're doing wireless or something? Because they have, like, I think if you tap, like, an AirPod, it'll pause play. The third step is you're telling me this man knows how to use a sewing machine? At 832 degrees. Cooking the t-shirts at that high temperature removes everything but the carbon in the cotton. This makes boron carbide, which stops some forms of radiation. Fuck you. According to scientists at the University of South Carolina, boron carbide radioactive suits are lighter and more flexible than traditional suits. Fuck you. That's why they are currently being used by the U.S. Yes, I have wireless. I got wireless buds again. Oh, then that's probably why. It's just one of those, like, cool little command things. Like, if you double tap it, it'll probably do something. Same with, like, I know some earbuds, if you tap it in certain places, it'll, like, go forward or backwards. Great. Now die because you don't have clean air and breathe radioactive dust. By the time you make this bootleg production protection, you'll be cooked into the nuclear fire too radiant to survive. Sexy Navy, I confirm. Basically... If you watch Mansers for your uh, apocalypse or radiation needs, you're kind of fucked. Badass. Oh my god, whoa, I had no idea that's what their uniforms looked like. How can a guy make a radioactive fallout suit for under five bucks? By soaking cotton in Yeah, it is kind of weird. I guess they're extra nifty. Never tried either, though. But there goes the neighborhood. Oh yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure that's what happens. For real, I'm sure that's what happens. What? Can a lap dance jump your... Have you ever wondered if a lap dance can jumpstart your car? Have you ever wondered if a... Like, dude, it looks like the bomb was on his neighborhood for real. Strippers generate lots of friction when they bump and grind. Okay, okay, what the fuck does this have to do with my? Some of these questions are signs of early onset dementia, dude. Some of these questions are just like, oh, what the? What involves tits? Strippers? Tits? Hot ladies? Poles? Beers? Ones? Or twenties? Like, come on. Can Cooch start your car? So we, Maybe the acid or something could. Are attempting an experiment that no one in history has ever tried before. Using a stripper pelvic power to recharge a car. Like my body energy? Like could I like my body energy? A little fact about nukes. You see your entire skeleton? Like an X-ray radio, and if too close your eyes will melt before you dance. That sounds really traumatizing. Battery. 
How can a lap dance jumpstart your car? Am I supposed to just grind on that hood? Oh my god, they have clothes on. That's so weird. It's like, why would they have clothes? Oh, I'm paying attention now. I was like, where's the booba? Come on. Like. Okay. Yeah. They look like human ladies. You hear to hear, folks. Don't try any of it. To find out how a super hot lap dance can generate juice, we asked an electrical engineer. The friction when I bounce, my tits create electricity? <sighs> Dude, that's so sick. From the lap dance. I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm a man, and I only pay attention if I see stripper. The exactly. The tribo electric. Oh. Like so, so if I vigorously rub? Rubbing. Two oppositely charged objects together. Okay. To rub together, this creates an electric charge. It creates friction, like when I shuffle my feet on the carpet. Two objects like her trunk and your junk. Or like when you shuffle your feet on the, or when you shuffle your feet on the carpet. Right? Is that like... Uh, yeah, just giving out advice. Pair of sunglasses could be the only thing between you and blindness. Try to be blind with second or third degree burns. Well, good thing my glasses turn into sunglasses, so that's something. Booby now, pay attention to slap your titties until the car starts. I'm like... To watch with stream with pants on and hand above the... <laughs> uh... <laughs> This is all on television. It's fine. But if we switch to face cam, I can no longer pay attention because no more titty. God. But I just gotta keep it on the screen. Focus. In your jeans. That's a oh, now I have to stuff my... Now I gotta stuff my pants. Come on. And her pants has a oh, charm. and her pants are plastic. Okay, so if I... Okay. Okay, we have a lot of extra variables going on here. Doesn't sound as fun. So the rubbing generates static electricity. Can these sexy sirens? So can static electricity charge a static car? Electricity to start a car battery? Maybe. How can a lap dance charge your car? To find out, we're hooking up these bodacious butts to jumper cables and attaching them to this battery. A voltmeter will measure the amount of current these gyrating girls This isn't! Generate. Ladies! Start his engine! The scale here is way off. I know. Off with a whole lot of energy. But just how much energy do we need? A She's like, math? Words? I don't know what any of that is. What? Is a 12 volt charge, but you only need 7.2 volts to start the car. That's the same amount used by a cordless power drill. Cool. So our girls need to grind however they can. I so feel like there was an issue. She's not even grinding. What is this? We're trying to get our fucking car started, dude. God, imagine if it just electrified the ladies. Yeah, it's dangerous, dude. After one hour, I'm our battery is up to 1.2 volts. Sapphire's bush. So Sasha takes over. Okay. Well, she wasn't fucking rubbing her ass on him. Hello? It's like you can't turn around. This is all about getting the car Sasha started. Puts her hips into it as fucking she stick with it. Side to side. Nice. Dude, he has to sit there for an hour? Oh my god. After two hours of bumping and humping, it's time to take another reading. Okay, two. two Okay, so you go up about 1.1 volts an hour, so it would take you like seven hours. I'm trying to get my PP. I mean, car started. Oh my gosh, yes, dance, yes. After this video, I'm gonna I'll watch that. Remember, we're gyrating our way. Oh, I love that energy. Ugh. Time to 
Okay, it's gonna be 3.3. Yep, sick. Okay. Cause men in cars, dude. Performing vigorous aerobic dancing generates three joules per minute. That's enough to power. They're not even 100 watt light bulb. What? What? Boom! getting charged up because we're halfway there. Is shoving like cotton money helpful for getting the electricity? 3.6 volts. It might. So our ladies keep bumping and okay, we get it. It's gonna take hours, dude. Until. After a total of six hours, yeah. The all the way I could have told you that after two or three. Ew, that was a really aggressive. Yes, also, yeah, I still think Knight just wanted to watch this on stream just to see Booba. I mean, I feel like I can see Booba whenever I want. How can a lap dance That's the pretty sick thing about being bi, dude. I can see Booba whenever I feel like it. Jump start your car. I don't feel that way, or is that just me? And you'll always get her Maybe it's because I'm a detached human. Want to see Booba? I can just see my Booba. All right, monster. Why it's satanic? Fucking welcome back to hi. Whoa, 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 whoa. Podcasts. What's up, guys? I hope. Stop it. Booba? Why, why monster energy drinks are from the devil? Ah. Uh. I want to see your booba. <laughs> you have to say JK not serious. Please don't ban me. <laughs> Uh, no, for real though. <laughs> Ow. Oh my god. No, I think that's a fact though. Touch grass. <laughs> no, Dance, don't say that to Bacon. Come on. No, come on. Uh. Oh. So you going to Hebrew? Yeah, fucking tell me, dude. Vav is also the number six. Short top, long tail. Short top, long tail. It's a M, homie. Y'all be a savage. You could also have an M. Also, they are touching. Oh my god. <laughs> They are touching. Do you see that? She's lying. There's not even a fucking slit here. This is open. That's open, dude. It's only one break. But my interest is the word monster. Yeah, look, it's connected. What do you see in the O? In a fucking slit? There's a cross. What? <laughs> it's a dude, what? Come on. It's a cross. Do you not see that? That's the devil. It's a cross. Why don't you make that another fucking letter then? What else is that, huh? Okay. What has Christ got to do with an energy drink? It makes me feel fucking on cloud nine. The name Monster. So I thought, well, maybe this is a Christian company then. Fuck you. No, you didn't. This is the problem with pattern recognition machines. BFC at the bottom of the can. Big fucking can. Yes. They don't sell them anymore. Uh, that was the extent of my family's hatred to Monster. It's like, there's a cross. It's like you want to see a cross. Do you know what that stands for? Big fucking can. That's the F word. Big can. 
Big fucking can. Like you've never said fuck. In fact, they write it on the side of the can, so I know. Do, they don't write fuck on the side of the can, do do they? Don't quote me. High religious, low IQ. No, dead ass though. I don't think That's they would write fucking on the side of the can. Now, do you know what a milf is yet? Oh That's hell yeah. Milfs. milfs dig it, and you will too. Oh hell yeah. Oh hell yeah, dude. This is not a Christian company at all. So no, it's like Axe Body Spray. It's for fucking teenage boys. Duh. Why would they have <clears throat> the cross on the can? They fucking don't. They don't, dude. That's like you pissing and complaining about fucking leet speak. Oh no, what is that dance? Oh no. Okay. The beast in Revelation, and look at Monster's ad. This is her stuff. You see these M's everywhere. Hats, t-shirts, pumper sticks. Because people like the fucking drink? If God can use people in product, so can Satan. Okay. Yeah. Even if the M was not the issue, you cannot deny that that is a... I can't deny that does not like that's a cross like it's just literally an O. Let me see. Yeah, isn't it just like a capitalized O? They don't do that to every O. Whatever, I don't care. I hope it's from Satan. Good. He makes some good drinks. What is fucking? What the fucking does Christianity do? They release fucking wine. I drink Monster now, so I worship- right, yeah. Be glad this human has no regulatory right. Of course, English and Hebrew and divine are hellish languages. He spoke by- <laughs> Right. Uh. Bottoms up. Bottoms up to Satan! And the devil laughs. Bottoms up and the devil laughs! That should be my slogan. Something to think about. Wow. This is how clever Satan is and how he gets into- Honestly? Sounds like a smart guy. Be productive, Oregon, so Jesus she won't get ready to write. Maybe they perish because they're just. So you're saying your people are dumb? Good to know. Cool. Awesome. What? Is there? No. No. Come on. Yeah, she works for Red Bull. Dead ass, dude. She do be complimenting Satan though. Outrageous 